Yo, what's good? It's Shinobi Gaines in the building. You already know who it is. Uh, here with my guys, we got Taurus, Matt the Problem, Moan in the building. Yo. Uh, Taurus, what are you known for? Just being that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matt, I know you're one of the premier talking white boys of the state. I've been saying that, and uh, I want to keep that going so people know. Uh, you okay with that? I, I appreciate that. Yep. Stats all across the board. Uh, Moan, what do they need to know about you? <laughs> Shit. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just me. Well, one thing Moan's known for is creeping in the DMs for sure. So yeah, niggas heard about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, these they've been guys telling are me about pros. it. Though. It's not good. I'm here with these guys. Somebody They're pros. <laughs> Y'all thinking what I'm thinking? What's up? Aim for the bushes. All right, that's like my attempt at an intro on this show. So. Oh, okay. Anyways, this is the first episode. Uh, we're fresh out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, home of, I got to stress this, home of Mall of America, mm. largest mall in America, mm. uh, <laughs> Prince Purple Rain, the mm. atmosphere, the culture, uh, mm. the Mighty Ducks, mm. you know what I mean? Mm. That's niggas be forgetting about that shit. Uh, <laughs> Jingle All The Way, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Classic. What else we got? Uh, George Floyd protests. Uh, what else? All day about Jesse Ventura. Jesse Ventura. Oh, Come on, no. I it's mean, a big deal outside of the state, really. Uh, Y'all gotta have something yeah, Kirby else. Kirby Puckett. Kirby Puckett. Legendary. Twins, World Series. Uh, <sighs> what else we got? We got. Damn, I don't even know. <laughs> we got aim for the bushes. Well, anyways, I'm stressing. Minneapolis is 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 coming up. Like he said, aim for the bushes. It's gonna be another thing. Uh, we powered by free minds only at the moment. Um, it is the first official episode. How we feeling? How's everybody feeling? Uh, uh, feeling good so man. far. Let's get this shit started. Let's we started, nigga. I'm trying to uh, fill, it, fill it out. Let's fill the vibe. What's the vibe? I'm ready to talk. Taurus, I'm Taurus. Ready to talk this shit. Let's check in with Taurus. How you feeling, Taurus? Man, I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good. I almost had a little accident earlier. Talking very white over the, here. The rose was kind of weak, so I was able to... Uh, get up out of the situation. I had a few accidents the last in that couple big years. Ass tour uh, no, I was about to say in that Taurus. Because <laughs> you <laughs> used to drive a Taurus, I feel like. I never Tahoe, did, actually. Tahoe. Okay, you did. no, that was <laughs> KT. KT drove a Taurus. Back in the day, yeah. But in the big ass Tahoe, you almost got it. It's not even that big. Your shit is actually bigger than mine. Yeah, that's, a, that's cool. a typical and statement. And you one of them niggas that's <laughs> driving. That's a, that's a typical <laughs> statement between us. Think about what you just said there. It's funny. <laughs> Uh, so you say your shit actually bigger than mine. I was, uh, I was driving a little fast and I almost had a little quick swerve out, but uh, yeah, it's actually been wild. Are you in a four wheel drive right now? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. sometimes you be on the you know going too fast. You know, I be doing about ninety it's, to it's, it's, Yeah, Minnesota people really gotta understand when this winter like you, sometimes you gotta go twenty in the sixty. Like it's just what it is. I don't play no games. Twenty I'll go in the forty five. Look at it like it's two types of stupid drivers you got the ones that's going too fast and then you got niggas that's going too slow so both of them is actually dumb. the ones that's going too slow though less likely to have an accident no because too slow is actually damn near work, just as bad as too fast at times depending on how it is you need to be driving to the conditions not under the, you know what i'm saying five you miles everybody else driving to the conditions too they got slam on their brakes you know it's, it's, it could cause, cause accidents how you too. feeling matt what, what's going on with you uh, i'm good i feel good yeah. Are you good? I gotta. We yeah. gotta address that. I mean, we cleared it. I cleared it with you. I was. I, I saved it for the show. Gotta address the elephant in the room. <laughs> What's the elephant in the room? What's you up? came in this motherfucker smelling like a straight mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Did you just get off work? <laughs> no, but I was actually working on my sister's car. My ah, grandma's house. Okay, so I, That's I, why. <laughs> I, I smell you. I smell you. Uh, so you, everything's good. Everything's clean. Yeah, no, I'm straight. All right. Uh, football going the way you expect it. Uh, I thought Green Bay might win today, but other than that, yeah, everything's going. Tom right. Brady's in there. Mm -hmm. Looks like uh, y'all niggas happy about this shit. Nah, I, I, if it ain't a Minnesota team, I could care fuck less. To be completely shit. honest with you. So fuck even watching it, really. What? It's still entertainment. I mean, it's the only thing I watch on TV is sports. Fuck, I watch this. Shit. How you feeling, man? What's going on with you? I'm good. Who's, really... Whose DMs you been creeping in lately? And be real. Uh, Certified. I can't be releasing that information on here, bro. Them, them naked bitches that got 10 million followers. Them is the wrong bitches to, to DM. Which one? Because you know they're not going to say nothing, bro. I did. You thought you was going to hear something. They didn't hear shit. I thought I, thought I was at least going to get a scene, you know? Like, at least read my shit. Get who a are scene. you? Why would they want to see you, nigga? Like, 
I, I felt good a couple of days. You was confident? I was. I feel like I got something clever to say today. <laughs> yeah, but other than that, I'm good. Just, you know. Try, just try next time, just go do, take your favorite 100 and just do all, send them all a little message and see if you might get one. One I, out of 100, that's... Do a numbers I, game? I actually did that before. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I say you can't put nothing past me. <laughs> He's, 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 he's certified. Like, Let me see about what's going on. He's the he's DM about. expert. D D D D M. I'm not proud of my body count. D it is what it is. He said, right. I'm not proud of my body count. I've got five under my belt. Nah, we're not gonna be going that low. Anyways, uh, five times ten. Y'all ain't asked me how I'm doing, but I'm good. Uh, y'all don't give a fuck about yeah, me. These don't really be giving a fuck. Yeah, not really. So. I just, uh, I just, I just, I was telling Ramon, I, I was trying to give you a sip of it in the truck, but I just ordered some shit called kombucha. Y'all heard of that shit? Yeah. Kombucha. No. It's tea, right? Yeah, it's, it's tea. supposed to. It's from tea. You said you it's ordered fermented tea. Thing, right? It's the yeah, fermented tea. It's yeah. supposed to like make your balls bigger, like no, and keep you younger. Is that what See, we're, is that that, what we're doing? That's what you was hoping for. Trying to keep some young uh, big balls. Is that what we're doing, bro? <laughs> <laughs> no lie, bro. These advertisements are crazy. So it caught me. The the advertisement caught me. What the first I, thing it said was balls. He was like, yeah. He was like, uh, do you want your balls bigger? And I was just like, damn. I mean. That's yes. a legit question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was like, let me see what this nigga talk about. They explained the whole kombucha thing and where all this shit come from. So Are these Amazon Amazon primed it. It wasn't I didn't buy exact exactly what was advertised me, but I, I did Are these commercials see. actually getting that boat out here? They are. The uh you seen the uh what's the one? Ma Manscape? That's actually funny. They be going crazy. They're everywhere. You fucking with that shit too? Nah, I'm a. I'm I feel a, like you would be the type to. I know you guys shit. probably think I'm smooth. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a smooth ass nigga, but I'm. It's a light skin shit to say. Hairy. I think it looks like your face. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like medium. My son is more hairy than me on some weird shit. Um, <laughs> how we feeling about the uh, inauguration though? Inauguration. Did you watch it? I did. did. You tune in? I, I peeped it. I mean, I just peeped what everybody was posting. Obviously, we got the the Bernie memes going crazy. Man. <laughs> I, I just hope he's figuring out how to capitalize and get some money off this shit. Bernie? Is, I hope he figured Bernie. out a way to get it going. Oh, he did do the... shit is the, cracking. He did the charity thing. He sold a bunch of t-shirts with his picture on it and gave the money to charity. Oh, I didn't know oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. funny. He's, yeah, that's what he told us. He, yeah. You know, he took well, some of it. He got that money, nigga. He's I swear, up. the whole fucking... Uh, everybody was trying to stunt on some fashion shit. Like, it was a gala or some shit. It honestly made me think. It and is. It I seen like somebody it. post. It made me feel, think of like uh, the Hunger Games. You know how the bitch in the in the <laughs> districts and they all getting super fashioned up. You know what mm. I'm saying? Man, I never watched this shit. But man. that's the significance of the Bernie. Is like Bernie sitting there chilling, like with his his grandma knitted mittens and shit. You know, in his jacket. Like I ain't really. I'm not here for the stunt. Fuck. Like I'm on business up in here in my chair. Like let's get through this shit. So I thought that was pretty dope. It's some crazy one. It was just dope to just see a little meme come out of the situation that was. Bro, you know, these memes have been going crazy. I've seen some tight ones too with him on. So Look at this. It's getting crazy. They got this one. <laughs> yeah, it's talent. It's Did talent you see the here. one with Conor McGregor? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, you seen the J. Cole one, right? Dude, with the force. Yeah, I saw yeah. the J. Cole one. <laughs> These niggas be quick with the memes, What's man. What's this one? Bro, you no. can't do anything without... They already got... Y'all see, see Conor McGregor got knocked out? Yeah. How you yeah, feel about that? You know, I really respect about how Conor, his, 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 you know... It looks his, like he humbled uh, himself a lot. His too, though. Like, he, he, he take that shit on the chin, like, you know what I'm saying? He He's lost. a good loser. He knows how to lose well. I gotta respect He'd be him. like... Got me. You got me. You got me. Good play. Real. Fair play. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he don't be making excuses and shit like, oh, well, look, this is what happened. You know, blah, 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 blah. Deontay Wilder shit. Take it, I lost. Deontay went back. crazy. Deontay cool. fired niggas. Deontay calling a... Investigation. Investigation. Shit. Like, this is going nuts. But, yeah. Other than that, yeah. Um, Back to me. Chilling, man. Living life. Ready? I'm excited for this podcast. This shit's about to... Next big thing. It is the next big thing. I've been saying that the, the 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 podcasters are the new rappers. You know, let's just get these these thoughts off. Let's fuck the beats. You know what I'm saying? Like fuck the rhymes. Yeah. Let's just get the thoughts off. You know? And then you know niggas be just listening to podcasts like it's an album. Now you might just be listen to it again. You might they go be, back to your favorite little show you was listening to. There's you know more playtime on podcasts than there probably is on albums. 
Yeah, I so. would say. And I've had times where I went back and listened to some shit again two or three times. On certain Plus, shit. people want to hear what motherfuckers got to say about yeah. shit. So, you know, cool. so... Yeah, so we back in this. We the new, we the big, uh, big dogs on the block now coming through. Uh, 2021, shit's opening back up uh, slowly. Restaurants open, gyms. Y'all working out? Where y'all eating at? Porter I Creek. Ain't fucking with none of this shit. You said you ain't fucking <laughs> with. Fucking around, like, Porter on, Creek. Yeah. Creek. Oh my god. You got the best steaks, man. I'm in, telling you. In Lakeville. In, no, in Burnsville actually. In Burnsville. Did you eat okay, with your better. mask or yeah. what, how they go? Did you take that's it that's off and eat, man? Come on. Man. <laughs> <laughs> So nobody ate. I just ate at this little spot, uh, the Black Waffle. It's like Northeast Minneapolis. I think I heard of it. It's, it's uh, a small little They got spot. like little cool uh, little waffles. I had some crazy shit. Pull it up. Like, oh, <coughs> I think they, I seen that place. This shit like right <coughs> here. <coughs> more fucking, I don't like all that little extra shit. They got the just like joint. Syrup? It's just I, like crazy just like dressed syrup. little shit. It's, I had a, a honey. I'm a boring ass nigga. What I made had, you want to <laughs> check this spot out? People just been talking about it. Nessa brought it up. So did it's it live like, up to the hype? What you think? Nah, nah. It's a Belgian waffle. Would like I don't back? fuck with Belgian waffles. What like. the fuck is a Belgian you waffle? It's like Belgium. a thicker one. It's just like uh, they just throw it in there. So you, you know rather what have an egg or it's you want them niggas? No, no. It's a look. You get your, get your <laughs> shit together. <laughs> you want to have an egg or waffle? Like nah, I'm gonna go back. Well, you want this? I'm gonna just eat the ramen noodles. Fuck all this top. If you top, ate, if you've uh, eaten at Roscoe's, then you know Roscoe's is trash. If you've eaten at Roscoe's, then you know. I've never eaten this shit. Don't ever go to Roscoe's. Well, you've never been to L.A., right? No. Okay. Don't so go to Roscoe's if you're in L.A. You're the only nigga that's ever talked down on Shit's Roscoe's. trash, bro. Yeah. I can make better waffles than that shit. How does it... F- well, let, make them, nigga. I do. Yo, but right. you know, a lot of those yeah. places that I've... Like I said, I do. He be buying the Eggos, the cinnamon, the penny <laughs> mini Eggos. Hey, about they better, better than Roscoe's. <laughs> Throwing them in the toast. That's, That's fucked up. Chicken is trash. You, you, I don't believe you're that. You're gonna fuck the whole bad. podcast up with some of these opinions and these <laughs> takes that you got. Hey, bro. I'm full of controversy. Just be saying weird shit for just, nah, bro. We ain't no telling why. Ooh, who that? Oh. Shit. This shit did or what? No, nah, that's the uh, speaker. All right, a uh, couple people passed in 2021. Who we got passed? Uh, man, legendary Larry King, man. Larry King he had over 6,000 interviews. I read. Six. That's crazy. Gang of interviews and I, I watched them only nigga that ever wear over the years. motherfucking what the shit called suspenders suspenders <laughs> every day every, every, he wasn't playing no games <laughs> he was on dinner <laughs> <laughs> the they talking yeah. about uh what's his name past two uh the, leg- the legendary Hank yeah you legendary know. Hank came up from the Negroes the Braves and came you know, through let, uh, he second best the, baseball player homework. of all time behind who um Barry Bonds <laughs> 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 that's how you know a nigga don't know nothing about baseball I don't even know nothing I'm not a lot even, of niggas actually say Barry Bonds is the greatest of all time yeah but he's got steroids under, on his shit too before that he's not I think Ken Griffey um, might Griffey, be considered yeah, Griffey's one probably. of the best of all time <sighs> But I don't even hear too many niggas saying that. I'm not gonna be diving. I'm not gonna be wasting time into uh, diving into to baseball. Though. Rest in That's peace, crazy. bro. But yeah, rest in peace to them legends. It's Kobe's. What is it? The one year since his death? About to be one year. When is that? Next week. The 26. Oh, this week. The 26. Yeah. So Tuesday. that's coming up. Tuesday. That's. Don't feel like it's been a year. I repeat to him and no, I don't. It's crazy. Time's going by way too fast. But yes, yeah. Yes. Him and his daughter, that's that's terrible, but shots out to him and his family, R.P. Kobe and his yeah, legacy. Definitely. All right, man, so let's get into our shit. We do movies, music, giving y'all the real takes on what's really going on with these movies, serious, legitimate critiques, none of this uh, false Rotten Tomatoes shit. If you want to know what you need to be listening to, what you need to be watching, this is what we bringing you, so... No politically correct takes. This is all legit. Four different perspectives, four takes on, you know, what's coming out and and, and how we feel about it. So, um, before we get on that, on the music tip, we'll start with the Ashanti versus Keisha Cole versus. Mm-hmm. What happened there? Did everybody watch it? I seen enough. <laughs> so you didn't watch none of it. I seen enough. You watched like the clips. You was watching a little. No, I watched like the first thirty minutes. You know it's an hour and 44 minutes long. So you watched the first 30 minutes. What happened? 
I know we started like an hour late. Oh, okay. I was just testing it right there. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. We was watching it, but the whole time me, Matt, and Taurus was texting, talking about <laughs> not about whose songs are better, but who got, who, who can fuck better, basically. Me and I feel like, the important I feel like he should go give you that nice hood fuck. Let's not, go di let's not dig too deep into it, <laughs> but <laughs> you and Taurus are looking like y'all on the same side of things. Um, I'm me and Matt. Maybe it's the white I have in me and his white, where we're leaning towards Ashanti and her light skinnedness. I, I, I love Ashanti. Well, uh, no, could be a racial thing. Are we gonna go there and say it? It could be a racial thing. It could, be a, white thing. It could be a racial thing. I mean, because clearly, you know you what I'm agree saying. With that, man? Uh, I'm not. I didn't say Keisha had better. <laughs> I just say, I, hey, I, I like what I like. I, I didn't don't say know she what, had better pussy. I don't, pussy. Know, what, I don't I know why. The type of fuck she <laughs> I like would give me. He said, "I don't know nah, why." Because I, I this is, and, and we could get into it. This was the the main argument. My take was, <laughs> and this is hilarious. <laughs> my take is that inappropriate, whatever. Fuck I, it. I think Ashanti's gonna bust it down for you, no questions. You know what I'm saying? Like I think she's gonna do whatever you ask her to. Facials. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No questions asked, head starts, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Keisha, I think you it's going to be some complaining, some griping, some, I don't want to do that, you do this. But this nigga's, he's, he's what, what's your take on I it? Think, I think your take, you're taking a lot of your own personal experience <laughs> with them type of girls. And you're not looking at them individually. Like, let's just look at them and see what we think just off of them. And that's what I was doing. You were like, oh, I, I had, you know, da, 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 da. And done this and done that, but then you're not saying like, what about what's in front of you? You just going off too much. I'm, of I'm just you, not feel. I'm just not feeling experience. it, bro. I'm just not feeling it. I so, mean, yeah, we, we we won't ever really know. But uh yeah, I don't agree. I got Keisha. Uh, I I completely the, forgot though. All around win. I do. Oh uh, yeah, I for think, the verses. Nah, yes. she she got dusted, bro. No, I actually looked at the stats. I don't think so. On the internet, and they actually said Keisha had. More wins than Ashanti. Nah, she was embarrassing herself, bro. And she just she wasn't ready for that moment. You know what I'm saying? Like she of just she was, was an hour late. I, I like that a little better. <laughs> she had more character. She wasn't <laughs> all professional and shit like that. It it's, ain't about professional. It's just like how you're carrying yourself. That that's how I already know. She just ah, but we already knew that's how she was though. Yo, turn my shit up, yo. Let me get. We it. know that's how she is though. So but yeah, that was, I, I mean, I like it's, this, this is what really what we're looking at. We're looking at like. uh the ratchets versus the elegant hoes. She's an elegant. She's an elegant the ratchet. Classy hoes. You know what I'm saying? I so, mean, so in I mean, the end of it, I still prefer Keisha for it all. I got her for the win. I got her for. I don't care how. Yes, it wasn't. It was not as organized on her. She was late like a month. She didn't give a fuck. She came. What's it? Was an hour late? An yeah, hour and a half. Hour, I didn't know what she was. What her she singing was wasn't that good either. No, it wasn't. Her singing her, was her terrible. Did you watch it, man? Weak, so. I watched it. Yeah, I'm still like I haven't watched a lot of those verses. I'm trying to figure out like what. Cause you don't give a fuck. It's, to me, it's like it's hard to look past like, like their body of work just outside of the verses. Like I always just look at it like, like you who's know a better artist. Right period. Like not who did better mm -hmm. in that video or in that. So when you watch it, you're not judging it off of what the songs are being played. You going off? Yeah, it's tough to say. Cause yeah, I mean, it's just a weird like, it's like a weird element to it. Like I don't know. I, to me, it's just more like which song I like better, like not like how they're performing it or anything yeah. like that. You know? Yeah, I don't care about the performing it part as much. I guess I don't know. And even if they pick songs that I'm not too, I mean, super fond of or whatever, then yeah. it's like I I know they got better work than that. Because they just there, recently though, so. started doing the performing part. It was it was just back and forth. So you don't yeah. got a clean take on it, Matt, huh? Not, Obviously, I, I mean, not not necessarily just the verses. I like Ashanti better than Keisha Cole, period. But as far as the verses go, it's tough. To judge I don't get you niggas that like her better. Like I can see if you say you like her. I mean, clearly if, she's. I, I think like she's better. more attractive. You don't think she's... Ashanti's more attractive? You don't think so? I don't think Ashanti's more Have you seen her fuck? I, I ain't saying Keisha Cole's ugly. Nothing Hell no, that, she's but, far from ugly, yeah, but... Sure. Hey, it's all about your own preference. Whatever right. you like. Y'all niggas like her. That's cool. <laughs> so, I would fuck. Funny. I would fuck Keisha before Ashanti though. All right, bro. Let, let's not. <laughs> let's not even get all crazy about this shit. I'm about to go with the detail. Like, um, you know, but yeah, overall, it was it was kind of a... Um, wasn't it great overall? It just didn't be good. flow well. I didn't think they picked good songs, um, or they didn't play them at the right time. I don't know what it was. Something about the the, the song for song wasn't. Uh, I think they came too early with some of the bigger songs. 
I don't know. I, to, to me personally, I mean, we talking about versus. I don't know how long this is gonna last. I don't know how really important it's gonna it last. Is. I think it's gonna be a forever thing now. Didn't they start because of COVID? Is that, yeah, when it started, I, think so. it, I think this is permanent. So. I don't know. Uh, at some point we're gonna run out. We, we don't. We, you know, it's like I thought we was done when we get, they started doing like. Uh, Patty the bill and then I was like, oh, so it's not. They're gonna go back and go get the temptations the weirdest, and shit. <laughs> <laughs> the weirdest so, verses I've seen so far was DMX and Snoop. Yeah, it was weird. I didn't like that one. They wasted a lot of verses, so it wasn't really a good matchup. But yeah, know, what do we? He like uh, Rick Ross and Two Chains. Like, you know, I don't want. We're gonna be indifferent about who we th- felt one. I'm actually. Now that we're talking about it, I'm at the point where I just feel like it actually don't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's pointless to even bring it up, but it don't matter. Either way, they're both legends, and they deserve every... They both they got need. a line that niggas want to hit. They yeah. both got... You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, Let me ask you this real quick before we get up. Who are you still playing songs today from, though, if you was going to listen to it? Ashanti. 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 Okay. So I'm the, I'm the outcast of the shit. I'm not playing nothing to Shanti. I'm playing all the kids. You're not playing Rain On Me? You're not playing no, one, one More Chance? None of that shit. Nigga, what? <laughs> Name the song. I'm not listening to none of that. What are you, what, you listen to Happy, nigga? What are you doing, I'm baby? So... Don't you listen to Heaven you Sent? To yeah, you I'm listening bang, to that shit, nigga. Heaven, Heaven Sent, Sent on the ride home and shit. All them shits. <laughs> I'm listening to them shit. You know, in, in, my, in the privacy of my own shit. Nah, I'm not just riding around. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... You know, I'm just chilling on my own, on my lonely. I might throw a couple of them. Shit I just think me. Ashanti's more pleasing to the ear. Nah, 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 nah. come on, man. I don't want to. It just the stuff that she was making. I don't want to hear no more. If I hear it play somewhere, somebody around, I listen to. It, but I don't want to play it on my shit. What's your beef with Ashanti, bro? What's going on with you? The songs are just whatever. To me. It's just this is what happens when you start pitting these people up against each other. Is that motherfuckers just really start taking sides and. <laughs> Look, it's just what it is. Just, I like Keisha Cole music better, so I'm going to listen to Keisha Cole. I don't listen to that shit. So. All right. What do we got? Let's do a quick wrap-up of the music. So, albums 2020. What albums will slap in 2020? Listen, Lil Baby, man. What's that? What's the name of that album? Uh, My Turn. My Turn. I actually didn't listen to it. You know you that's know, crazy? That's fucked up. And the thing about Lil Baby <laughs> shit is uh, he... Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen nobody do this, but I, everybody that put out like a deluxe album, he's the only one who I've seen have a hit off of the deluxe. Like he added four songs on the deluxe shit, and Will Pay was one of them. And that wasn't on the original album. He had the song with Grace with 42 Doug, but the song Will Pay was the deluxe. Oh, yeah, track. I know that song was right. That was like the little summer jam. Yeah, thing. the summer jam, exactly, because it came out in the summer. And then the, um, Will Pay, he added later, which was. Damn, an even bigger song. So, so you say Lil Baby had one of the, the joints of the summer? Uh, Yeah, I'm going to say so. It had a lot of, you know, for that vibe that he was on, you know, that's you, you got to look at that as one of the top for sure. Matt, the problem, what, you, what was it? What was it? 2020? Yeah. I, I still go with uh, Cuddy, I think. That was the one that the, I listened to the, the most. At the end of 2020? Yeah. Anything else? I mean, we know, we know, Cuddy hands down got the album of the year. I mean, we ain't gonna talk about Fuck it. Fuck out of here. <laughs> no, but how many how many songs on the album? On Cuddy's? Yeah. Y'all want to do this? All right. Uh, so Cuddy had eighteen tracks on the album. And you'll say, well, how many of them are solid? Solid. Uh, out of 18. All, all of them. Solid, like you listen to it. So again? you said there's no skippers on it. It's a it's a whole listen through, yeah. It's a listen oh, through. No. Yeah. Now there's yeah, one song, Elsie's Baby Boy, that I think the casual fan is going to not want to hear because it's it's on a rock tip. But if you know Cuddy and you've been rocking with him, like you you expect that kind of sound from him. So for me, I got into those. The the replayability on it for me, I mean every every few days you you liking different songs better than you liked them before so you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna actually sit and keep listening to it for a couple of days straight and see what changes. did you ever rock with cutting i liked the first album you didn't like the second song that's the only project he has to me that doesn't that first album don't have no skippers to me yes yeah. this is the album. same but it's different it's like a modernized it's, same. it's got now sound but it's please no it's not <laughs> same cutty vibe just it's not it's, the same vibe it's Cuddy's vibe, bro, and it's now. It's it's now, right now, with Cuddy's vibe, with his futuristic, with his storytelling. You know what I mean? Like it's not storytelling. 
<laughs> it's bro, he's telling a story come on in the whole this in the whole nice sense of it telling. okay you want me to tell you the story the little kitties the story is <laughs> yes he did it for the kids that's on the call for the kids hey, he said that we can't act like he's the, bro the now whole, you're acting like oh cuddy's one of the greatest storytellers he's not in the conversation of storytelling it, it, the move the, okay. the albums be movies okay He's the only one that be doing them like that. I do. That's why I like the album because those are the kind of albums. So what I like. give me the movies he's he's, he's <laughs> putting out for y'all. So so Man on the Moon Wait. One was clearly like him falling in and out of darkness, spiritual battles. You know what I'm saying? And, and coming out of that and fucking <laughs> growing, having having a spiritual maturation. Okay, that's what all of his projects are about: spiritual maturation. The fucking okay. second one, it was mostly about darkness, and he's somehow climbed up out of it at the end. Same, this last one's the same thing. He gets drunk, he gets into a car accident, and he's wrestling with demons, hoping he survives. You know, shit like that. Thinking about the people he loves and who and he may have hurt it. this is your personal takeaway of what he's doing with those Man on the Moon projects, right? That's what you think is what No, it's nigga, that I know, bro, because I'm paying attention. <laughs> I'm paying attention. I've listened to all these albums. I haven't taken But you're not away. paying attention. I pay attention for the sake so I can talk about this shit with you because you think you know it all about this shit. So, um, I'm talk not, that shit. I'm not getting that from these okay. projects. Well, just a you bunch know, some of niggas songs. just, you know, Cuddy ain't for everybody. And I'm not saying I don't like I'm just saying I'm not understanding why you niggas he like got him a so cult, much. He got a cult following for a reason. He's been in the game he since. He do. Since 08. And he has great stuff that I like. It's 08 or 09. He's been 09, in the game. Like that. It's yeah, yeah. 2021. I mean, he, he's he, he's here for a reason. He stayed for a reason. It's nigga, beautiful morning. And, um, yeah, we love you know, it. Come That's on, great. like, he be making classics. Like, I'm not even going to go there with you. <laughs> but uh, 2020. <laughs> 2020. Uh, welcome to Old Block. King Von. King Von. That came out oh, in yeah. November. You had that, the, the, the death bias recency yeah, bias I mean, yeah. okay so what you was listening to before that came out it just came out well man. uh music to be murdered by eminem okay mm. what before that what you mean before that That was early what? What? Music to be murdered? when did that come out that was early 20 that was like january so you was listening February. to that music to be murdered by as your top album before the king Bond, yeah saying? and i'm gonna completely this, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I didn't even listen to Eminem's album, so I'm not even gonna downplay it. I listened right. to some. I, it's just not there for me anymore. You're not the lyric guy anymore. That's why. <laughs> it ain't even that I'm not the lyric guy because I clearly appreciate uh, Royce, and my take is that Royce had the best album of the year. Mm -hmm. Nas, uh, you had, just said Nas, Cuddy did. Cuddy had the best project album. Ah, it's tough. It's tough. Cuddy's was my favorite. Royce is the hands down best. Just taking a broad perspective was Cuddy better than Nas shit for me yes Cuddy's album for me was better than both of them but I'm gonna just being a fair critic I'm gonna say that Royce had the best album taken in the casual perspective you know what I mean he had the bars he had the message he had the, you could just hear the fire and the hunger right now he's trying to be the best rapper in the game and I and I just feel like I'm supporting him on that he, he got so he grabbed he just, me yeah going so. crazy did y'all listen to that shit? The Royce? But no. I didn't listen to all I haven't of listened it. to the entire thing, no. Okay. You didn't listen to the though. entire thing? I haven't, no. Wow. Cause you I, didn't, I didn't even know it came out at first. Well, and, then, and then I saw singles See, from him and stuff. So. Y'all both are, and this is okay, but y'all both are the Eminem stands, right? I think, I mean... Yeah, I'm a big Eminem fan. What are we gonna say? But I'm a big Royce what, fan too. What, what do you mean by stand? I'm disappointed. That you like you can't know. do nothing wrong in my eyes. Is that a stand? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know you was a big Eminem fan like that. I think he's the greatest rapper of all time. See, I'm in. I, I don't want to get too much on this, but y'all niggas love the nigga, and I don't get it, fam. I think he's the greatest lyricist of all time. I don't get it. What y'all talking about? I don't. I don't think there's nobody even touching him. I just don't get what it is that y'all are loving so he's much. He's mastered the game. As far as <laughs> wordplay, punchlines, delivery. His lyricism is crazy. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but it's over the top now. It's, it is. It's, that's why a lot of people don't like him, I think, because they don't catch it. He's trying too hard. He's How trying many too hard. I don't think he's trying too hard. Out of his whole throwaway body. projects? Yeah, I mean, throw away Maybe one. I'd say. Okay, so y'all are different, because y'all say even the whack shit is tight. I'd say Relapse is garbage outside of that. I listen to so, it. Okay. And I, Relapse was decent for me. Uh, everything else after that was trash, but we, we know what the Eminem debate is. You liked is. Recovery. I loved it. Yeah, I loved it. That was it. after Relapse. You loved it? Yeah. 
You said everything after relapse was trash. Yeah, that was a mistake. You corrected me. Thank you. <laughs> Bad Me Evil 2 wasn't trash. I actually didn't listen to it, so I'm not going to. I that's just a, I stopped listening project, to it. Though. for. Uh, he, he He's not doing anything new for me that's pulling me in. I, I We're not connecting anymore. Just, I feel like B-Side and Music with Murder by You Need to Listen to. There was a couple of tracks on How there. How many new like, songs he put on there? Uh, about about ten, eight. eleven. How many of them are good? Well, I can't ask y'all that. But <laughs> <laughs> every song, every be fair, is great. I think I'd, I'd say about six, seven. You got six, seven. What you got? I almost have to look at the track list again, but I'd say there's probably four or five that I listen to. Out of the new ones? Yeah, out of the new. I thought there was only like or... six or seven. That's no, great. it's like ten or eleven new oh, songs, bro. Yeah. I like the Kamikaze shit. I didn't like that. That shit was crazy. Everybody was riding his dick like it was this shit. special project. What do you mean riding his dick, bro? He came out with... <laughs> I don't know if it was riding his dick. He came out dick. and shut the fuck... Uh, he shut everybody up. It wasn't very much different from the project before that, though. It, it was a hundred times different. You talking about the one before that was before Revival, right? Revival. That was way different. How so? Yeah, Kamikaze. Because well, Revival was more on some, like, political shit. Was yeah. he, but was he not being, like, over the top with the metaphors? No, he wasn't. To me, it just seemed like a bunch of songs with Ed Sheeran and That's why. That's why he came out with the Chlorocepted remix to show everybody he could still rap. That was what that was for. Well, Dissing everybody and all that shit. It was cool. I'm, I'm we, could, we could just sit here. Eminem, I'm Leave over it. it. It's the not, King's Disease. King's Disease was there. I, know if y'all to that. That was a great I, album. I rocked with it. I'm it's a, a top five for me. Top five? For the year. Yeah, I like this shit. Um, let's get away from Sam and them hate. <laughs> <laughs> awkward. Getting awkward. Uh, so 2020, we got the wrap up. That's the joints we was rocking with for the for the year. Uh, let's talk about what's dropped so far. Um, we could talk about hotels. Keisha, no, no, not Keisha. <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine Sullivan, uh, Jasmine Sullivan Hotels. Jasmine Cole. How are we feeling about that? I was listening to it today, actually, just kind of refreshing it. Um, I'm actually, since the last time we talked about it, I'm actually feeling, I'm feeling a certain way about it. Like, it's starting to hit home with me a little Says bit. Says she wanted a bow legged hood, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you almost change your whole mind on the whole like, shit. Like, last time I talked to you, was acting like, ah, the skits is better. It's okay. The sk- I thought the skits was better, but some of them songs, like, put it down. Uh, sit on it. Sit on it. It's a catcher for sure. Uh, that joint with Anderson Bach. Girls Price Like 10. Me, Anderson right. Pack, yeah. Price, like, all of those joints actually hit. And, and what I appreciate most Honestly, what I realize is that I really feel like I'm I'm picking up hella girl code on this shit. Like I'm. I mean, you have no choice but to pick it up. She's telling all of them. Like I'm getting Especially the secrets. The the, I'm through the skits for sure. Um, my my favorite skit still is the one where. Uh, no, nah, actually, my 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 skits change. I like the uh, with that first skit that comes on where she's talking about that dick spoke life. <laughs> You know what's crazy is that this is like the I'm not listening to these skits again. I listen to them. Tonight. <laughs> I don't want to listen to it again. And y'all niggas are still listening to the skits. I'm listening to the songs. I'm never listening to the skits again. I don't want to hear it. I've heard them. I know they. You got about. everything you needed from them. Yeah, I'm just y'all listen to the skits like they're you know like their songs like y'all like you know I'm not gonna keep playing them skits. I heard it. So you don't have a favorite. Not of the skits. I'm listening to the songs. I delete them off the list when I put the list together. I don't. I've heard them. Obviously, you're not gonna put the okay. skits on a playlist. Like, <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm I'm not a playlist nigga, so I'm not out oh, here I'm making. A, I'm a heavy into the playlist. You so know, I take songs, add them. So let's shit. make that clear. Like, I'm not a playlister. Like, okay. I'm gonna listen to an album. I'm gonna search the album, listen to it, and then I'll get on to my next shit. Like, I'm not putting together. And maybe I'm the minority on that. But I'm not a playlister, so. So you like listening to the album and just dissecting the album. Yeah, I'm searching shit individually, and maybe I'm making shit hard for myself, but. No, I, I do that too. I like to listen to the album as a whole first, and then when I get my little shit off, I'm transferring them to the playlist. Yeah, I'm not making playlists. That's just for some reason I feel like I don't got time for that. I mean, you just have a playlist ready to go and add songs to it. It's simple. One, two, three. Yeah, I, I guess I just don't listen to music that way. I train myself to listen to projects. Just a different type of nigga. It's cool, and, that, and that's facts. Whatever you, know? you like, fam. That's, 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 that's <laughs> just facts. Do, <laughs> so what are we thinking? So you know, album-wise, for me, I'm liking the skits. It's short. It's easy to listen to. 
I'm picking up Hella Girl Code. The songs is put together. I think all of the features that are on there are well placed. Um, you feel like you learn some new shit you can apply to your own personal life? It ain't even like I just learned some like whole like new shit that's like mind blowing, but it's just like little like, oh, I didn't even think about it like that, or like, oh, you know, maybe I shouldn't be at thinking this way. You almost like learning how to like be a better man. Yeah. About this shit. Like, how do I improve it? Like yeah. being a better man every day. So this Jazz is seven gave it up for you. This gave is gonna be it's gonna be homework for my son for sure. He gonna he's gonna get that. Um, I didn't even think about it like that. You're right. Yeah. But but that girl like me with her on it. It's the girl I, Bible. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. The whole Bible. The hotel. Mm, that's some the shit. hotel Bible. Hotels, bro. What are we thinking, Matt? What what's your take on it? Take on it? Um, I thought it was good. I liked it. Um, I don't really know how Taurus be doing. I feel like you have to listen to the skits for this album yeah. the next song is about the skit that was before it but y'all niggas keep get, like, listening the whole picture to it that's my thing y'all are well because I'm listening I'm to done. the whole thing I heard you listen to it as a project I'm you just, have to listen I'm, to the okay, skits I don't so you, listen, you've already but, playlisted it no I'm just listening to the songs now at this point I'm not including the, the skits I'm not, I haven't heard them since mm -hmm. last time okay. we talked about it so yeah. that's it for me um I mean I'm I not gotta, a big skit nigga I don't even thankfully they didn't put the skit she could've just had the shits at the Beginning of the songs, if she wanted to, uh, that probably would have been. Yeah, she could have done that. Could, but some of them were like, two, and I would have had no long, choice, weren't they? That would have been a really couple long of them song. are a couple yeah. minutes long. So, I, I, I thought Amanda's tale was, that was my that favorite. Too. Amanda's three minutes skits on song. Uh, the girl <laughs> like me, I think, was the my favorite song of them. I the only thing I, I just feel like it's lacking like a hit. That's the only thing that's missing. It doesn't have a hit. That put it down is probably the closest thing to a like a radio. Probably. You said yeah. don't have a hit. When you say hit, you mean like, it's like a radio, radio hit, like something. Yeah, something that's gonna something that's gonna last. Right. Uh, that motherfucking sit on it. That's the shit right. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> that's the one that's gonna. Be real. Have you put that in rotation yet? Like on a, on a on a mission. No, but you know it's just it's relatable, so we know what's going oh, on. Oh, you done sat on it? No, I haven't sat on it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Said, we know what's going on. What the fuck going on? We <laughs> just get it. So you know, you know what I'm saying, so, uh, understand what's going on. Spit so, on it, Matt. What you give it out of a ten, bro? I'd say like a seven, six and a half, seven range. Six range. and a half, yeah, seven. I say seven. Yeah. Mon, where are you at with the project? Um, this is the first female project I ever heard that I wanted to really just fuck the shot the female afterwards. Of the female artist? Yeah. Oh, okay. Of, of I don't know if that has anything to do with the music, but oh, it does, but yeah, yeah, um, just for that I'm giving it a... You said it's your first ever for yeah. a long time. So, remember when I told y'all, like, D, D. Emmer of the state, <laughs> like... Get it. This is where his mind is at. You know what I'm saying. So get in, get I'm into it. A, see I'm it. Peep it. Dog. So let um, me guess. Jasmine Sullivan actually did see your shit. That's why you. I she saw, she, I, she seen your. I didn't DM. I didn't DM her yet. Oh, well, you need to go ahead. And I get feel like it. she would be one of those to reply on some cool shit though. I, I think she's. Yeah, she would just be like, oh, I, I got a man. You know what I'm saying. Mm. Ramon gonna That's be in there you, vicious though. though. He gonna be like. <laughs> he, he gonna be like, do, do he eat the ass? Gotta, yeah. <laughs> gotta aim for the butt. But um. <laughs> wow yeah. Just for that alone I'll give it a Solid 7 7? Yeah Out of What you giving it? I'm gonna give it a um, I give it a 7 I feel like seven. I seven. You said it doesn't have any hits I think the whole album Is a hit Just Off of the yeah. Information she's given us And the You know yeah, It's different I feel like she put her all Into this album I feel it's like the hits Really like, I don't wanna hear that Radio sound hit. I want to hear something that's like her fucking what's, lyrics are what's crazy. What's gonna be the dope here. song that everybody's gonna like, whether it's a radio type song or not? So that's well, why, why it's still dope because it's, yeah. it, that's what it is. That's, yeah, let's not even be doing that no more with the. I don't. We're out of that age actually now, where it's you know it's saying? really like, not about that. But on the on the on the back end of that same token is music lifespan is very short now, so we won't be talking about this in a few months. Sucks. Uh, right. Yeah, I think almost a, a couple of weeks, and it's just like fuck that album. What else is out? And like, it's a good project. Right. Yeah. Where I think a hit would make it last a little longer. But, but even it, hits it only happens like, with the bigger artists. Even still, I feel like true. the bigger artists' hits ain't staying anymore. They're, they're, there's the staying power is not. It's not there no more. So, but for me, I gave it a first listen. I had. On the artist too. I gave it a five and a half on the first go, but listening to it, sitting with it, because you have to do that with some of these projects. 
uh, came back and I gave it a seven too. So um, I think we all, that's a unanimous seven for, for different reasons. Uh, next joint is that Griselda soundtrack. <laughs> uh, I'm a, I don't want to spend too much time on it. It, nah. it was the soundtrack was cool. I'm not gonna sit here and say it was it was trash because I definitely f felt myself uh, vibing to it, uh, riding. You know, definitely driving music, and uh, I would say, you know, there was moments on there that I definitely appreciated. I like the Davies joint. Um, just the rap and the boom bappity rap, you know, like just getting that that flow. That yeah. Eminem shit. Nah, it, it's definitely <laughs> yeah. not Eminem shit, bro. Uh, it's that's it's crazy because that's what niggas think boom bap rap is. He's not boom bap rap. Like he's not. He's his he's his own thing. I don't know what he is. He's but, his own. Yeah, that's right. He's his own thing. But this is just like. Uh, like Ransom's joint, like I said, it gave me it gave me Wu Tang vibes. It gave me uh, Gangstar vibes. It gave me uh, the Firm vibes, which I appreciate. Nineties Juice vibes, huh? But it wasn't it wasn't consistent <laughs> enough to for me to super like like oh, I need to get back to this one. You know what I mean? So replayability wasn't there for me. Um, it did make me want to, some of the skits and some of the tracks did make me want to check out the movie that they, because it's a soundtrack, uh, conflicted soundtrack, so I did check the movie out, and I'm just going to get my movie take here while we're here. One of the best movies of 2020. Yeah. <laughs> it's just one long rap music video interlude that w it was terrible all across the board, um, and, and, that's, and that's where I'm at with the movie, and we I'm not going to touch on the movie from there. I give the album a a four and a half. What would you rate the movie? Uh, <laughs> rate, uh, it's probably does. It's probably it's not, it's not gonna get a rating. I'm just gonna be. I I, I respect uh, Benny the Butcher and um, West Side. You know their their theatrical efforts, but I'm. It wasn't there for me. Everything was poor about that. So. I feel like this is just some shit they don't even give a fuck about. So. I don't give a fuck. Like the album, I'm not watching that movie. The album wasn't shit. They didn't give a fuck about it. You don't think it. they, they give a fuck about it? About either one of not them? this shit. This is not what they passionate about. They put a bunch of songs together that niggas don't care about. The niggas on the songs don't care. I guess Lloyd Banks cared about his verses. But Davis. You know, this is not nothing. It's no worthy. Uh, we really shouldn't even be speaking on it because it's not something that they even give a fuck about at all, I feel. I feel you. You know, they just did it just to do it. They didn't put a lot of effort into this shit. I mean, time to Marco. That's how you know he really don't give a fuck because he started talking quieter. Like, oh, I'm just not really feeling it. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. That's all I'm I don't even have a rating or nothing. I don't give a fuck. What's it, Matt? Matt, the problem. Where are you at with it? Where are you at? Yeah, I thought it was like a four or five, too. I, they're a f four it or kind five. Of, four yeah, and a half. Right, four, yeah, four and a half, probably. It, it bothered me. It was that old school sort of gangster rap, which I kind of like it's my like lane but just the, some of the um like the beats couldn't they, they didn't hit like they should have or like they could have you know, like uh, the beats i like some of them i like them but they were like some of them had potential to be a lot better and some of them were super repetitive it was just the same four bars over and over like and over a, it was like a loop beat yeah it was just okay. loop. Yeah. he wasn't i mean but that's that's kind of what it was though yeah, I just wish they had a separate spot for like the hook or a bridge or something, something in there to change it up a little bit. But I feel you. Yeah, it wasn't. It didn't. Nothing grabbed me from it. Did you even listen to it, Mo? Oh, yeah, I listened to it. Where you at? Only like three songs, and the three songs I don't even. It's not you don't love them. I mean, I wouldn't replay them. The songs that I like. And I play this. <laughs> that says a lot. You like the songs, but you're not even going to listen to them again. Right. Just yeah, like, 3 a.m. in Houston, that and was my favorite, um, but, yeah. well, we, that's that's the one to talk about because um, Benny got shot. You know what I'm saying? So in Houston, he got robbed or something. So he actually not sure if you knew that. Yeah, I watched his little Vlad TV interview. Oh, he he got a Vlad. In, yeah. I didn't know niggas was still doing Vlad interviews. I thought he got. Canceled. Oh, a lot of canceled. people are still. Did he do a recent interview with him? Yeah, yeah. He told him After about the shit. incident and shit. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I, don't, I didn't know he did it. Well, that's pretty cool. He did some like Drake shit, but on some hood nigga shit. Like, oh, I got shot three three thirty in, uh, in Houston joint. So I felt the energy. It definitely hunger. was like a Drake type of little thing, but did his own shit with it. That was tight. The drug dealing music. 
like I said, they're trying to bring that back and try to try to get rid of the drug using music, which that's, I don't know. It's like two it's evils, you know what I mean? I'm not one creates the other. I mean. Yeah, one creates the other, so I'm not really. That's here to stay. A lot of these motherfuckers are far too far gone into the. But speaking drugs. on that 3:30 in Houston and Drake, he's supposed to be having his album come out real soon. Oh yeah, next uh, month or two, I think. I thought so. We was looking at a. You sent me the playlist from where was it? You talking about the um or not the playlist, the, release, the calendar, the, or whatever. Yeah. The release calendar. What was they saying? In there? I think it was it was supposed to drop January, this February, month. but I think they I think he pushed it back. I don't know how far. Yeah, I don't know if they even have. I, I don't even think they have a date on it. My son acting up. What was he saying? My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think they have a release date on it yet. I think he just pushed it back because it was supposed to be either January or February. I think he's, he's not going to anymore. Did y'all see that meme? Where Drake was in a studio and he looked all sad and shit, and the caption said he's about to drop the most fire album of 2021. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny to me. Hold on one second. See this is what happened when you got kids. We're gonna edit this one. <laughs> nah, leave it in, man. What you mean? What's that? It gives that uh, realism. <laughs> yeah, get that character. You know what I'm saying? Wait for it. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I don't know where we left out. So Drake's supposed to be dropping his album. Uh, yeah, y'all excited or what? How you feeling? About I think what the Drake era is over with. You think it's over? I think it's. I think it's over with. Why you say the that? Drake era. I think I don't. I just. It, it's probably descending. I'm, but he's still the fame. They're gonna be the most can't famous say it's name. Over with. That's kind of yeah, crazy. He's, still, I mean, he's still, the Michael Jackson of our era right now. No, he's not. He is. Chris Brown is. But bro, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> are you talking about like hits wise? You're talking about like the whole the makeup, dancing, like the oh, dancing. Yeah. I'm talking about the dancing, the hits, the the. Aura. I guess when the people say Drake is the money, they really saying like fame. hits. I'm fame. talking about fame, yeah. worldwide fame. <sighs> he's, he's, I don't think he's more popular than Chris Brown. Yeah, he is. I don't 100%. even want to do this, bro. <laughs> Chris <laughs> Brown's been out longer. I'm not, bro. I'm not trying to sit here and do this. Okay, <laughs> who's doing more numbers? Chris Brown. No, he's not. When the fuck has Drake put out something? Oh, when was the last time Drake put out something? Bro, a couple of songs. They got a song with Lil Durk out now. Listen, I'm not. I'm not a Drake fan, so you're making me do this shit, and I don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's obvious, hands down. Drake is the when it comes to making music, he's the most sought after artist. By for, for everybody, bitches. maybe across any genre. Whatever too. you know what I'm saying, across any genre. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not gonna go that far. He's the he's the Michael Jackson right now. It, it is. So you don't like is. the nigga, right? I don't. I don't so like that's what it sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Being, yeah. 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 Only emotions tied into it. I'm not looking after him either, but I can still keep a clear perspective. Right. Over you know the past, what I'm like, like what has been like ten years, years or something like I'm that. I'm objective. I just don't think he's. I don't think he's at the top of his game anymore. That's fine, and that's fine. I agree with that. I think he was better. He's not at the top of his game anymore, but he's still I obviously know he can rap and make hits, but I don't think he can consistently do what he did five well, years ago Well, this anymore. certified lover boy is supposed to, obviously, the title, we're probably looking at some softer R&B shit with the hoes. He's, he's coming at the hoes with a vengeance, probably. He fuck around and just finessed with the title, and this trick that's his probably some other shit he's going to get into. We don't know. I don't that, talk that'd be interesting. I don't like the title niggas at drop, all. Like, oh, this nigga's actually coming in, y'all. This is that'd yeah, be dope. He, he might even up. be doing it on that tip, like certified lover boy. Just to throw I'm gonna really. <sighs> I'm a fucking hater. I'm gonna right? rely like, on like you. Sarcasm kind of thing. Yeah. I like, yeah. Taurus, I'm, like I'm gonna rely on you. So you, when that come out, because they talking about it, it might do a surprise drop next Friday or early. Hey, I didn't February. hear that. They oh, I didn't see that. Well, yeah. What's all this gay ass surprise dropping shit? On that calendar you sent me, it's talking about to oh, me announced. Okay. Yeah, yeah, what's up? That calendar had a bunch of like I don't even. It's bunch everything. Of people, you know, it's it's not just because it wasn't just like rapping R and B too. I didn't everybody. even see a nigga that I knew. I'm like, who yeah. is any yeah, of these motherfuckers? Yeah, there was a few that I knew over the next couple of months, but not a whole lot. I was looking at it last for the, for the next three four months. I'm just like, I don't even see an artist that I like or know on this list. So, <laughs> well, so. yeah, for the most part, the first few months is looking ass. So. Yeah, there's not a lot. What do we uh? What else dropped? We got that uh. That Jr. and that Royce. <laughs> yes. It's just bumping. I feel like Ryder got off a little harder than I didn't Royce. I know or? JR Ryder was still around, to be honest. He can't, he's he's That's the first time I heard JR Ryder in years. Time. He's um, peaking. 
diplomatic immunity days and shit. I liked him back then. Shit. He was always a, he was always a spitter. Uh, that joint was hard. Uh, we'll finish off here. Uh, Kodak dropped a new track first day out, or was it last day in? Last day. Last day in. Yeah. Everybody heard heard that. I just heard it. I heard it on the phone and it didn't hit me. Then I heard it in the car and I was like, oh, okay, I, okay. I was telling Matt this earlier. Uh, he deleted some tweets saying he was going to um, give a million dollars to charity when he got out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was funny as hell. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. What's uh, Taurus is geeked about the track, though. I just like the song. I like Kodak. I just think he's... Uh, what is it about Kodak that you like, nigga? He got skills, man. He can't <laughs> he said he got skills. He got he got the sound. He can do a lot of flows that I never heard before. Like, you give him that credit. If you listen to his music. He's he keep coming up with different flows on every song. He just keeps. He don't just stick with a flow. He just gonna keep coming. Okay. Beats really just get to doing something for him because he just keep coming up with his creative flow. Y'all niggas don't listen clearly because then you would be saying like. I don't think the nigga can rap at all. So, I think he. See, y'all niggas gonna be listening to that nigga. I don't think he can rap, bro. But you don't listen, right? I listen to enough. Isn't this funny, though? Because we was listening to Cuddy before, and he's trying to clown the bars, and and he's talking about flows now, right? <laughs> I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? I think he does oh, this to me. Say it. A Kodak back Black is a better than Cuddy. Okay. Mm. Okay, we'll see, who, we'll see who has a longer but tenure. But Cuddy's not game. here for rapping. He's just here for the vibe, right? He's not here to be showing you the rap. Right Kodak's here for rapping? Is Kodak rapping? Yeah, he be rapping, dropping nigga. bars? Yeah, he yep. just dropping bars, nigga. Is he? Okay. <laughs> Right. As a matter of fact, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna send y'all niggas, niggas a couple of uh, short lists, and then y'all go check them out of some of the better. I only caught a track I ever oh, liked was. That's like his first track. That's like his first track. That's the only track he I ever liked. He be spitting, liked. man. He be spitting that shit, man. Just some He's street cool. melodies, fun shit. You know, he he got some shit. He's saying some shit. What else dropped? There was one other thing that dropped. Uh, that young thug in that Juice World is whatever, whatever. I don't really feel like it's anything to talk about. Um, I think that might have been a, anything else dropped. <sighs> Breathing a little hard over there. Nigga. It's good with you. I'm just I was just thinking about what else dropped. <laughs> 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 Nothing else dropped. I don't He's think anything else dropped. still upset about the Eminem conversation. <laughs> yeah, it's just weird. Your nigga's just weird. So you say you heard flows you never heard of, and then you say Eminem's not. <laughs> I don't understand. That's, that's low key what it was. I was making a joke. So y'all gonna go back to that shit? <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's, see, are you all let's be done with the music and get into these movies. Uh, let, let's just be done with that music. That it, it's a short list as of right now. So as shit comes out, we'll get at it. So. Yeah. Okay, we got movies. All right, so movies. I want to take this one a, a little more serious. I want to be a little more tedious on the details and the critique. Um, we giving real, real movie takes because, like I said, Rotten Tomatoes and what is it? Is it IDBM or IABM? I am a gang of these niggas. Out. IMDb. It's a gang of that movie database. They are being completely irresponsible with some of these takes, and and it's and it's clear like propaganda it's all kind of shit going on trying to stop people from watching these movies all right so racism they just hate it all all kind of shit they is. hate racism movies they hate comedy movies they hate yeah they don't even they don't even watch nothing objectively no more they just straight up like bashing shit for no reason right. you ever look at some of the reviews you'll see the they gave Ryan step tomatoes. brothers 51 <laughs> percent well, we don't want to get into that cause I don't give they gave die that. hard 49 percent you don't fuck with Step Brothers, he said. You don't like anything Will Ferrell. You don't like Step Brothers? I, like I mean, I didn't like him either until I saw that I movie, though. It, I ain't gonna lie. Let me not say I hated it. I, some was, it was some funny shit in that movie, but I'm not that a big fan. funny as hell, bro. Will Ferrell, <laughs> so. Uh, actually, you know what? While I got you, I want to show you this shit. I, I just want your take on it. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, the show's called Aim for the Bushes, and, and I had to explain to us where I even got it from, and it's actually from oh, a, you. It's from a Will Ferrell movie. Oh, that makes sense, though. That's why. Oh, you didn't know that? You haven't seen that movie? No, no, no. I'm saying, like, that makes sense why he wouldn't know. Cut this part out. I don't want to do it. This nigga said cut this part out. <laughs> no, no, because I don't want you to put this in the... Uh, I don't want this nah, in I mean, we just watch it. It's just fun. Uh, it's my favorite scene no from that movie, actually. Came up with this shit, so it's cool. This is my favorite scene from that movie, man. The movie Game is fucking... Bushes. Talking about that's Gator. A, watch. He gonna go home Gator. and watch this. He's like, Gator don't... Gator don't... Gator don't play that shit. <laughs> Let's watch this shit. 
Uh, what if I get my remote? Skip that shit. Ah, I'm lazy. Oh, this shit. Damn, they about to show the whole clip. We don't have to watch the whole fucking thing. This is okay. I guess it's, it's, it's good for content. It comes so. up pretty quick, though. I actually just showed somebody at work this. This is going to be head here. <laughs> you cannot say that shit's not fucking yeah, stupid, funny. bro. <laughs> it's all kind of. I gotta funny. check that whole shit out and see what's going. That's on. a good movie. No, nah, but uh, yeah. So, anyways, that's just piggybacking off talking shit about Will Ferrell. He got some some classics in his in his uh in his catalog. But uh, yeah, know. let's just get real serious about this critique on these movies, so we can actually set the set the standard on this and uh. You know, if we, we, we're pretty confident in our takes and how we diligently sift through these movies and, and, and these scenes and these screenwritings and this motherfucking acting. So let's get right to it. If you want to know what to watch, we're going to let you know. So first movie, I actually ended up checking it out. Y'all saw it. I didn't peep it last time, but uh, I still don't know how to say it. Fatale, fat, fatal, fatal. Whatever. I just say, I say fatal. 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 I, I don't know what's going on. A Hillary yeah. Swank it's movie. Fatal. It's a Hillary Swank movie. And let me just put this out right off back. There's a couple scenes in there where Hillary, uh, Hillary, Hillary, yeah, Swank. Swank. She got uh, she got buns, bro. I mean, <laughs> she, she? She's clearly like in her 40s, easily, possibly late 40s. You know what I'm saying? Fuck around, be 50, really. Maybe 50. <laughs> uh oh. But I do feel like she got buns, though. You know what I'm saying? And there's a couple scenes where she definitely was highlighting that on her own tip. Like, you know, she was like... like she was the she one had that been was working like, hey, out. I want to make sure motherfuckers see this little side piece. See the little, little ass. ass on the side. Side ass. The little side ass. Exactly. <laughs> the little view. That's, that's like the... Uh, you know when they do the yeah. ass on the... Uh, in the bathroom on the, on the counter, on the, on the, the sink ass. Yeah. She definitely sink did ass. do that in, a, in her own way. So props to her on that. But... Yeah, I fucked with the movie, but y'all was amping it. I'm gonna say that for sure. Y'all tried to give it. What was y'all giving it? Like an eight? Nah, I didn't go that high. I think I said seven. And and you know what? We fuck around and spoke on it. You should have just saw it first, cause then now you acting like we was hyping it up. It's a good movie, fam. Right, come on. <clears throat> it was a it was a decent movie. Um, Michael Ely, I always uh, appreciate an appearance for him. Uh, I don't Light want that to sound weird, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Next year, relatable. I don't know. I just I, I liked his I liked his acting and his characters that he played ever since Barbershop. You know what I'm saying? He's got a little yeah. bit of a, a he's versatile, and right. he's always got this like serious like. Let me think about some shit before I say it. Like he's always sizing you up type type look shit. that I I think is pretty cool. Like I can relate to that. He get better too. I feel. Over, over the years, yeah. He's he's older now too, but I still can't believe the nigga got blue eyes though. Like, <laughs> that is just I. I that know, fuck, it fucks everything up. Like. It's a few of them out here, but I'm like, how? You know what I'm saying? Like how? But contacts. It's not, it shouldn't be contacts. I mean, otherwise everybody's gonna be trying to get a gig in Hollywood with the fucking 
whatever color eyes. Think he made it just because his eyes? I, I definitely was <laughs> thinking that. Like he's just there, just like, oh, you light skin, you got. I was blue trying eyes. to figure out did this, did this nigga have? I don't remember his eyes being blue in, in the in last Barbershop? couple of movies. I thought they were oh. hazel. Cause them motherfuckers was like yeah, ocean yeah, blue in this color. shit. I was like, what the fuck? Is My little cousin got hazel. You know, the, it's a certain sect of light skinned niggas where their eyes be a certain way. Mm-hmm. I didn't make that cut, but are you mad? Are you mad about that? They wouldn't be able to handle me, bro. I'd be a totally different person. <laughs> With blue eyes, <laughs> with if my eyes was any different shade, I, it would be tough out here for a lot of people. But that's a, <laughs> that's, that's a whole different. That's all it uh, takes. That's a whole different, su- and that's crazy. That's that's crazy. But something <laughs> subtle like that, you know. Um. <laughs> anyways, I'm saying for me, how do I, you know? As far as the acting, <laughs> the acting. Yeah, because Ramon's definitely like in his heart, he wishes he was light skinned. He'd be doing all the light skinned shit on Facebook with, yeah. the, with the poses, yeah, no. taking yeah. his glasses with the off. Poses, Snapchat, with those fucking gay ass yeah. lips. We're we, we gonna go back to <laughs> three years ago. We're not a we're not a, a we're not a gay bashing podcast, Taurus. So all let's right, be right, yeah. let's be sensitive towards uh, LGB. What the, the alphabet people? This nigga Taurus ain't trying to hear shit. Anyways, uh, how do we feel about the movie? I feel about I, I feel the acting was solid, on point. Definitely, I was looking for some kind of twist, but it really was straightforward. Spoiler alert. It really was pretty straightforward from the jump. Like, it just was what it was. The cards were shown right away. Crazy, crazy bitch, you know. So I'll you predicted gay. everything how it was going to go from the start. It was, I was expecting a twist, so I was wrong because I was expecting a bigger twist, but it was just some, it was kind of more straightforward than I thought you it would have been. You kind of from the jump. Who, I think I what know. caught y'all, what y'all, y'all was probably thinking it was, I was going in thinking it was going to be a twist because y'all told me. And then when I saw it, I was like, oh, it's not really that it's a twist. It's just that it was an obvious in plain sight type of situation. You know what I mean? Like the bitch showed up acting crazy. And at the end of the day, she was crazy. You know what I mean? Like, but it was never really about her, yeah, like wanting to be with the nigga. Or nothing. No, That's no, why it was she like, was oh, just crazy. This is not even about this. Yeah. Oh, I get that. And you I know? get that. But I'm just from face value. She was crazy. And, and it was a lesson there. If yeah. y'all didn't peep it. It was a couple lessons. If if a mm-hmm. chick is being like that, you know, like pushy and con- trying to control, like not letting the nigga leave until she she get another poke. You, did you see that demeanor, that attitude? Yeah. You gotta watch out for them kind of females, cause they they. Uh, he went ahead and participated with the shit. The fact that she while he was sleeping put his shit in a in a in a safe. In a talking about I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this to get some some dick tomorrow. Yeah, that shit's not. She's cool. already plotting. She's you know what I'm saying you gotta you, you gotta, gotta give it to her though. You can't be. Plotting, plotting hoes no. is dangerous, bro. They dangerous, yeah. and that's what I learned out the out the gate from this movie. Um, you fuck around and, and just adhere to what the bitch said about it. Like, no, give me the fucking phone. <laughs> like, right, right. I'm, not, I'm trying to skate off of it. I don't want to be That's what you would have did, huh? I gotta go. Like, well, give me the phone. Like, you no. wouldn't have get, you wouldn't have got that last poke in. No, no way. I'm leaving. <laughs> just because she <laughs> want me to do, I don't want to do it. Now. She's begging. <laughs> it was a red flag. I paused the movie right there to write "crazy bitch" in my notes, <laughs> and then started playing. Again. Yeah, yeah, that's a big red flag. Like she's playing. First of all, you went and got my shit, put it in the in. The, you, you dig it in my pockets and all type of shit. <laughs> no, but it was a believable. Uh, it was plot line or whatever. Like I, I, I could. The fact that she ended up, it was definitely pretty funny. She ended up being from the same city. The nigga was lying on his name and shit got caught up. I definitely got a chuckle out of that. That's what. Because the nigga was sweating. Um, you should put yourself <laughs> in a situation like, damn, this would be. That'd be, I would think, you know what I'm saying? But have a heart attack. I think it was well written. Um, I definitely feel like the whole, at the end, you know, and I'll jump towards the end. The whole, oh, I got my, my phone recording while you're talking that shit. Like, that yeah. shit isn't even admissible in court. Like, let's, if we want to get really real with it, you know what I'm saying? You got to have video recording. And sometimes that ain't even flying in court, you know what I'm saying? Because people are technically supposed to uh, know when they're being recorded for it to be I just, They said I got the mafia. That's true. So, as simple as that, you know what I'm saying? We That could have been anybody. To be honest, the ending was a little rough. They could have came strong with the ending. It was forced. Uh, it, yeah, it was like, how do we do this? And they just do some shit together. That's where it was let off for me was the ending. It yeah. didn't, it wasn't fulfilling. I mean, yeah. it, you know what I'm saying? 
Kane from Minister Society to his character. He's trying to, you know, he was trying to pick up where he left off and Minister That's Society. That's how I felt too, yeah. I and, uh, that was real dope when he came in there with them guns and shit. I was just like, damn, this is... They, they fell for the whole coffin throwing up shit. Like, ain't nobody... Immediately you knew. Like, when yeah, she that started, was, that, would go to that the, was rough. If you was that there was to smoke her, like, just get it done. You know what I'm saying? Like, just right. just get it done. You're going to let you're gonna give her she a courtesy... It was stupid right. as fuck. So courtesy like, piss, you know? Right. Come on, she already now. had that one plotted. That one any nigga ran into her crib, she already got that. I didn't like that up. part of the movie. So for me, uh, but then like it was almost like what the situation she was going through with her personal life was causing her to turn up the way she was acting. Like she was, yeah. If this wasn't going on, she she was able to get her daughter back in her life, which I don't even know how. That I know she, her the situation was crazy and it was a terrible mistake she made, but. Fact that she didn't have no rights was kind of I, no i definitely like when i first seen the the dad uh her, you know her ex-husband like i was like damn he's coming a little rough on him yeah. but then once i seen what happened i'm like oh yeah i'd be the same way you know yeah. daughter's probably paralyzed because you fucked around didn't know what the, you know what i'm saying on some yeah. drunk shit nah, you, yeah. but she made the situation worse at the end got got her dude got her ex-husband killed and she got killed not a not a so she just she fucked her kids she life fucked it up, all up. Mental issues, physical issues, all kind of shit. So, but it's a lesson. Drinking, drinking, uh, can get you into some fucked up predicaments. So, especially with your kids there. Yeah, I was kind of the, the the ex-husband was a little bit too. I just felt. I mean, I, I I try to like you know feel both sides of the of the situation, but uh, I feel like he was coming down way too hard. And he had like rank and shit in the in the city in, in the city, so it was like he could pretty much do whatever he wants. He's like, no, I got this, bitch. You 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 you, you, you tripping? Yeah. He's like, no, nah, get the fuck out of here. And I was just like, I'm gonna bring you over with my shit if you keep get the fuck on. Don't come around. You know? <laughs> like he was doing too much. It's, it felt like it was almost like a personal like when it, whoever wrote that in was like. Like I have to look into situation. who wrote it, but I, I do feel like all the acting was on point. I was satisfied yeah. with all of the acting. Yeah. Some of the, like the screenwriting, the writing at the end and the plot at the end kind of fell a little flat for me. And then, you know, it was obvious that his homie was trying to, you know, when he brings up the, uh, trying to sell the company and all this and that, like it's obvious, okay, we got something going on here. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't catch that at first, but did you... His girl, like, I didn't catch Did you see that coming, though? His girl? Well, if you watch the movie in the beginning, she's acting salty because the niggas, his homie's there with another chick. To be honest, the funny thing about it is the scene where he comes home and starts cooking and shit, Mm. and she was like, I knew then she was doing some shit. Just because how how she was acting about him cooking, he's cooking, and you're like, what, nigga? What are you doing? I just thought that was a little bit like... You better appreciate that. Like, oh, you don't appreciate that. It's almost just like she didn't even give a fuck anyway. But overall, like, I think it was a a solid... uh, It's tough for me to give it a six. I want to give it a six, though. So I'm going to give it a six out of ten. It's tough for you to give it a six. Because the ending... Just really the ending is the problem, right? I'm 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 being real with these. Uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna give it a six, bro. I'm gonna give it a five and a half, cause like you're gonna have to earn it on on here if you want a good review. Um, <laughs> I think a five and a half out of ten is just. It's a little bit above average. I'm sticking with the seven, um, just because. <laughs> <laughs> that, see, I'm gonna stick with the seven because the acting was, like you said, was all the way up to par. The storyline was great. The only thing they fell short of is completing all this build up they had throughout the whole movie with a solid ending to match up with all that build up. They didn't have that, so it would be less if the acting and the storyline wasn't as great throughout. But since that, those came strong. I think a seven is adequate for this because uh, you know, other than that, it was, it was a solid movie. So, you know. where you I'll at? Watch it, it again, Matt. Where you at? Um, I'm still gonna give it a seven, but I think it's partially because like your rating system and mine are a little different. Like to me, if you get down to a five, I don't even want to watch it. Like yeah. that's a five to me is like a not a watch. But you gotta really think about it though, bro. Like it's five a, is like a Godfather three. How are you rating these movies though? Like, how, like, like, 
if it's two or five, <laughs> yeah, some sometimes you come across some bad movies. Okay, let, let's talk about it. The movie was very similar to other movies in that lane. Right? Regular Fatal Attraction movie? Fatal Attraction type movie. No, it movie. wasn't. You know what I mean? That's it, another thing. It, it was it, a it, slightly it, original. It was slightly original. They went a different it route. It actually wasn't about a Fatal Attraction. That's the thing. But the attraction was Fatal. Because... <laughs> because. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying the movie wasn't just necessarily about a Fatal Attraction though, so much. It wasn't just... There was, la- there was a l- couple more layers. It's a couple more layers. That's what that was. The, what separated it had a few different layers. It came to it. from the world of Fatal Attraction. But it, but it was definitely a guy and a girl met up, got on some shit, romantically, sexually, and uh, it ended up in some deaths. We've seen a lot of Fatal Attraction attraction movies over the years, and they is one thing consistent is that this is a crazy bitch who wants to be with the nigga. Or the other way around. Yeah, she just happened to not want to be with the nigga. I think that was big Which time. Which was weird to me, because it's like, damn, you want to fuck this nigga again? She came back for seconds, obviously. Mm-hmm. But she really never give a fuck about the nigga So like is she that. just a sexual dv demon? Or she was just using him. It was almost wasn't clear what her... Or was she using the pussy? She was food? using him for to get her own way. Okay, so she wasn't yeah. even attracted to the nigga. Either. Right, nah. She, she was using him for, the, for her daughter. Okay. She was just like a manipulative Crazy. type of having giant. sex for yeah. the kids. If, if we're going off of your scale where five is average, I, I'll drop it down to a six. <laughs> well, let's yes. have a collective scale yes. here. Let's not be giving it up, giving too much love. You know what I'm saying? Because for the movies that fair. are really if I, great, if five is average. Then I think that's a, I think it's a fair scale. Yeah, five. But is see, average. y'all have your own criteria. What's the most important factors of a movie to you to be able to rate it properly? Everything's got to hit, bro. The acting's got to be on point. I have Which to was. feel like this is believable. Exactly. Okay, that's like, huge. The story yeah. has to be dope. Like I gotta, it's got to be a breath of fresh air. I have to either be super let down. Uh, by the outcome, yeah. like disappointed because it didn't go my way. I have to have some feelings about the outcome other than, oh, that was flat. Like, oh, like they could have did a better job. Right. I'm talking about actual fe- emotional investments into the outcome of the movie. Yeah. Um, I need dope shots. You know what I'm saying? I like <laughs> wide shots. I like dope color corrections. You know what I mean? Nice edits. Shit I haven't seen before, you know? Uh... I need to see some new shit, you know? And right for this, you know, I'm just not really getting anything that's one wowing me or amazing me. Nothing amazed me in the movie. And let's just let's just be real. Like ten, if we're gonna give something a ten, it's gotta be amazing. It's gotta so be what's the closest movie you would say is a ten for you of all time? I don't know now if I, I have everybody. A, I don't know if I have a movie that's a ten. No, and I know that's I don't have one as a 10, but what's the closest to a 10 you would say of a movie that you've seen? I like Fight Club a lot. I feel like story-wise, and at the time that it came out, it was definitely some something new, something creative. Well, you know, dope acting by Brad and by, uh, what's the old boy's name that played uh, American X? History? History? Oh, uh, Ed. Oh, I don't Ed. know his name. Uh, I can't think of the nigga name. But yeah, I know what you're talking about. He played the Hulk, right? He played the Hulk. He played the Hulk. Uh, dope acting, dope story, kind of like cliffhangery. I thought it was dope. Uh, Matrix's first one was pretty revolutionary. Mm. Um, so you rate that one high too? Those are high for me. Um, I I can't even just like dig through like which movies was. Uh, no, I just wanted to hear what was a closer to a ten for you. Denzel's Malcolm X was really good for me. Yeah. Um, you know, these are the movies that are close to tens for me. That I'm not even saying that they're tens yet, because I don't, we may not have had a ten. There may not have been a ten that's been born theatrically. I fuck with Training Day. People, a, lot. Some, a lot of people will say The Godfather one or two Godfather, is a ten. Training so, Day is dope. Scarface is dope. Goodfellas is. Uh, I think Scarface. I yeah. think Goodfellas is worthy of a ten. Goodfellas. Close. Yeah. All of those are um, good movies. I'm gonna say eights for those, but yes, they're good. Eights. Eights put you in that. All right, we're 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 talking classic. I would say that fucking Godfather people movie is high, closer to a 10 with, generally speaking, as far as... But you got to take into account the entire trilogy and some parts of the trilogy. You can't just rate it as a Really, the third one they hate, but the first two. Yeah, because it it was... They didn't even want to make the third one. They just redid the third one. Did you see what they just did? They reached it and put it out again. I got to check it out. It wasn't (laughs) terrible, but it just wasn't like up to the level of the first two. It It wasn't good. It was a long overdue, but... (laughs) Um, but yeah, so for me, five and a half. Uh, you talking? What you talking now? If, if five average, I'm gonna go six. 
What you, you said seven, and you didn't even see it, right? I didn't see it. I didn't see it, so. That's where we at. We talk about between five and seven, so we're going to give it, I hate this, but we're going to give it a six. So, <laughs> I guess it would be. I don't, I don't, I, I don't necessarily agree with the overall six, but that's our overall take on that. Uh, what else we got? American Skin. So the the one thing I wanted to talk talk on this one that I really wanted to hit right off the bat is how these like Rotten Tomatoes. They say twenty seven percent. Yeah, bro. Where, where we at? IMDb gives it a five point nine out of ten. That was better than what I saw. It was at a four point something before. Rotten Tomatoes gives it a 27%, bro. IndieWire gives it a 1 out of 5. Like, who who's running these? You know what this I mean? This is all personal. Like, this is this is nothing to do with the movie. But I it feel. says 90. Google's... Because I read some of these comments, and it was just... Was all the comments pure. said nothing but good. I, I literally seen... No, when we talking about the negative ones, though. Oh, okay. When you see the negative ones, it was literally people talking about Nate Parker personally and with his own, per- like, you know, he had uh, some rape charges and shit. Like, when I see stuff like that, I just check out, like, okay, this has nothing to do with the movie. They're attacking the person. So some of those comments are in there, where it's like... Uh, what are, are those rape allegations legit? I mean, I don't even, let's not even dig uh, into that. That's typically what they do when... Well, he was, he was, he got, he, he got cleared of the charges. He's cleared of that, so, so let's... Even matter. He's, a, he's, he's, solid, he's solid, so we're not even gonna... Yeah, it don't matter. And, um, yeah, I looked at a couple of them, and a lot of them don't have nothing to do with the movie, so I just kind of stopped looking. Uh, I wanted to hear people's like I wanted Take. to see what if there's any credibility to it, and I don't think it is. There's no. ulterior motives at play. Yeah. Well, it's a con- it's a, it's a very controversial movie, so. Yeah. So, so I would almost expect to see these scores be low as this with the type of movie that it is. You it know? felt like I thought it was a Spike Lee joint because his name popped up at I the end. It, was too, yeah. it felt like a Spike Lee joint, to be honest. I mean, he did an interview with him. With him too. He was involved. He collaborated he in some. I don't know what his involvement is. I think he was just an executive producer. He just put his name right. behind it to give it a little juice. Yeah, that might have been but uh, Nate Parker is directed by Nate Parker. He was in. You may have remembered him from uh, the group. What is it? The Debaters. Great, Great Debaters. debaters yep. Red Tails. Um, I think he's a dope actor on the come up and his directorial. Birth of a Nation. Birth of a ne- Nation. His his directorial yeah. excerpts I think are dope. Um, so far, I haven't checked out Birth of a Nation. Oh yeah, you gotta go. I'm gonna check, check it out. out. I didn't even know it dropped, so that's just that's my bad. But 16, yeah. I love this movie. But first, I want to get into just for the sake of uh, diversity, I want to get Matt's perspective first. Uh, no, I thought it was I, the word I wrote down when I was watching it was powerful. I thought it was a powerful film. Run us through the whole joint. It was powerful for sure. Yeah. Um. You want you mean like a just run us through it. it? Yeah, just run it. Just run us through it. Yeah, take us through your opinion. Yeah, I mean, I just, just what was your takeaway from the movie after watching it as a whole? Besides powerful, like what did you take the, away? The message. I think the message it sent out was that, um, it, I think it was just shedding light on what was going on, what's going on in the world now. Uh, as far as as racism and and did you have any f- different feelings about? <laughs> race relations after watching this movie is any difference take away that you personally i didn't have any difference no but i okay. haven't i'm probably not the person to ask about that right. you know but um yeah. i think it, i think it could though uh yeah. get, like uh, overall uh, achieve that with yeah. some people yeah for sure yeah. um i think it gave a good perspective as to each point of view in situations like that and and uh kind of it did a really good job of when you say each point of view what you mean so like the um, the father of the uh, son who got killed, um, the police officers, uh, the um, everyday citizens. So just so everybody else knows, it's, the movie's about a, 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 a black kid getting shot by the cops, just like kind of like what we've been seeing a lot in the last... We've, it's been happening for decades, but obviously more publicized. And then a father dealing with that experience... And then they're, the cops dealing with that, the media, and them trying to basically get a grip on everything. But mm-hmm. Go ahead. So all of their perspectives. Yeah, all, I did a great job of giving everybody's perspective. Um, I think the end uh, summed it up really well, too, with, uh, without trying to give away any, uh, um, give away the ending for people who haven't seen it. But um, No, we could give it. We, it's, you want to give away that? Spoiler, spoiler. Spoilers. If you don't want to hear the spoilers, get out of here. Out. So yeah, I mean, I think the the way it ended, where um, he had 
the opportunity to kill the police officer or it looked like he was gonna and decided not to. Um, How'd you feel about that? What would you? Did, what did you want him to do? I was indifferent about it because it 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 would have been a powerful message for him to do it. Mm-hmm. But when um, when he had the phone call with his with his son and stuff, having kids, I think, put gives you a different perspective on that. Like, yeah. I, I think I if was I was in his position, I wouldn't have done it either because because of that. I knew once he sh- he let him talk to his son on the Facetime that he it. he wasn't yeah. gonna kill him. It, right. it was too. It got way too yeah. emotional. Yep. And I was hoping that he was gonna kill him. And I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> but that says you would have killed him. Yeah, if my son was killed, I would yeah. I would have. See, and that's the that. other thing. I can't really put myself in that position it's to. To, to to imagine that. Yeah, because I might at that point too. With, with if it was my son, I wouldn't. I, I don't know if I would have gave a fuck. About that's my. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know how I feel it's about like, that. Man. It's like it was basically them saying him saying the character like, I'm a good person. I don't want anybody else to experience what, what I've I just experienced. experienced. Yeah. But I think he kind of he almost no, gave what he experienced. It almost not, feels like not the exact same, but he, he got him to that point by, you know, with with, with pulling the trigger <laughs> with a with a blank in it. Yeah, and I think that he. I think he really was just saying. I think he came there knowing he wasn't gonna do that at all. Yeah, I right? think I think you're right. Like, yeah. I'm not yeah. gonna kill him. I yeah. know for a fact. Even though he said, I, don't know, I think he knew. Like I'm not gonna. I'm gonna teach him this lesson mm-hmm. this way. What was unsatisfying for me was the fact that nobody was killed in the whole scheme of it, other than him himself at the end of the movie. No, yeah. no cops. Nobody was punished, which is, I guess consistent with what goes on today. I was going to say, I think that was the message. That's right. So it's basically a real life perspective. So going in there, I had my hopes. I had, you know, and then I realized like, all right, this is a, this movie is a a realistic, real take, which I think they delivered. Mm -hmm. I think they delivered it the best out of all the recent movies that what, what a, the, a similar one was like Queen and Slim, right? And that yeah. was that was more like our fairy tale yeah. version of it, right? Yeah. Because I didn't even I didn't even get yeah. to check Queen and Slim. I would say the hate you give. Did you see that one too? The hate it came you out give. like old nineteen. Yeah, that was a good one too. Yeah. It um, sounds very similar. familiar. Yeah. I can't. It's a similar right. kind of story. You should check it out deep. if you haven't seen it. I'll check we'll, it. We we'll talk about that another time, but that's a, the hate you give. You gotta check that one out. So I felt like the acting was completely on point for me. Uh, I didn't really care for the kid, the docu, the uh, the documenting kid, whatever the yeah, kid's yeah, name. Yeah. He drops the name of the movie in his speech during the jury section. Um, but I, it was some strong moments in there, like him holding his own court. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. feeling like we're not getting. A fair shake in in the in this current systems court. That was genius writing. I like to do that. I love that. Um, yeah. They brought out the prisoners. You know what I'm saying? They what? Uh, they made it tough for the cops. They put the cops in a position where the odds were stacked against them. Which is completely the opposite. I I I like when he said, "You're gonna let them decide our fate." Right. And he was yeah. like, "Welcome to my world." Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so it, it was it was a wake up call for the people who because. Believe it or not, people are still very divided on these lines, and there's still a large oh, you gap. You can see that on your Google reviews. You can, <laughs> that, Facebook, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, there's you said it divided pe- on what? Just, you know, Blue Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. Oh, like, there's all still, lives matter and shit. There's still not, like, cl- there's not clarity there. There's not a, a common, um, like, consistent thinking on, on what's happening here when these things happen. Everybody, you know, you got... Uh, the white people I don't want to get like too color uh, specific with this but people that believe that oh you know people die every day or they want to pull up the uh, black black people kill more black people than cop and it's and it's like all of these things that that are very standard in conversation today about these issues are actually addressed in the movie Mm -hmm which I all thought of, was yeah, dope. Like and I feel like a lot of people need to get this, they need to see this movie, whether... I think this movie should be played in every be, yeah. every home in America. Whether they agree with it or not, you know what I mean? They, they should take in this these perspectives anyways. It's probably pro-urban culture perspective, because it's, you know... More so, but but it does, like I said, it does a good job of giving everybody's perspective to it. Right. So, you, I mean, you get the cops' so when perspective. When you hear those officers say that bullshit they were saying, it's like... You get to see the conflict within the cops. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? 
you get to see the Latino get at the, mm-hmm. the, 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 the Latinos that's doing right and then the get at the gangster, how they feel about the gangster Latinos who are, you know, that's a, that's a whole wave too, you know what I mean? So everything gets addressed to me on this subject. Um, it ends out perfectly, just exactly. It didn't, we obviously didn't want him to get killed at the end of the movie, but he gets killed. The media... Obviously, did their it was, thing as it usual. Was, it was perfect how they showed the media telling a different side of the story that right. that Get was connections to yeah. radical, exactly that terrorists. brought up his army background and shit. And that's what happens. They the media will put their spin on it. You know what I mean? The media he he surrendered, came out with his hands up, and they still shot him anyways. And so the media had to protect the police and obviously give the side of the story villainize them demonize them Mm -hmm. um and that that does happen and i think it's good that 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 was the most powerful part to me that i feel like people are starting to be aware of that more people really need to understand that and hold the media accountable because the media is just as powerful as the government the media is more powerful than the government the media is the government's voice in a lot of times, in a lot of cases, it could be, in, but we see in Trump's, uh, it worked against Trump. You know what I mean? So what? Which government are we talking about here? You know I what mean, I mean? So the, the media is is a weapon for whoever's whoever's wielding that weapon. It's 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 being used against us, and it's being used however they want it to be used. So this one was an eye opener. It, it made me uh, get into my uh, propaganda book. That's why I made a post on uh, Facebook about propaganda. But it just to let you know, give me some insight on how the masses are controlled and how they're conditioned to ideas and how they are forced to react against certain things. But a lot of movie, I give it a seven. <laughs> I give it a seven, and that's and that's pretty high for me. Um, but I feel like it accomplished everything it set out to, and it's getting shitty reviews, and I completely disagree with these reviews. With that being said, I give it a solid eight. A solid one. A solid eight, it's considering a, it's a classic to you. Then I think it's rewatchable. I think it should be played in every house in America. I think it should be played in schools. I think this is one of the movies that should be. I I, I do think it should be played in schools. But... Yeah, man, this shit, damn near. I mean, a lot of the shit brought tears in my eyes a little bit. You're you're an emotional one. I, I mean, it's that light skin dream again. Hey, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie though. It has been getting tougher for me to it, like hold in some of these tears. It got real movies. emotional for me a lot of uh, the scenes. For sure. yeah. Not this one, but like even like some of the kids' movies I watched with my that, son. That's because like, you got kids. That's what happened to me too. As soon as you have kids, it's <laughs> like if you watch changes. like I just uh, got kids. <laughs> trolls. I, I was holding in tears on trolls. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's but that's another one. But. Yeah, Solid yeah. eight from you. Cartoons not. But this movie is amazing, and it does the best job of explaining all perspectives I've ever seen. Where are you at with your number, Matt? I'm I'm gonna get, I'm gonna say if without the message being on point as it is, I'd say seven. But with the message being the way it is, I'm gonna go eight. And just because of the shitty reviews, I'm putting it and, higher too. And the reason why I wanted Matt's perspective first is because he's unique to all of us in the fact that he's a white guy. But he's got mixed children. You know what I mean? He's his son is black, so his heart is gonna be tugged at and picked at a different different way. You know what I mean? So, if I I really wanted to hear your take on it, cause you got a lot of things going on. You know what I mean? But you're obviously gonna be on the pro black side because of your affiliation. So, but I just wanted to get that take. Taurus, where you at with the number? Man, I had to go with a solid eight, man. This was a good, good movie overall. The acting was great, storyline was great. And oh. It was just, it was a realistic. I didn't see any flaw in the movie. Yeah, I mean, we felt the characters like we was talking about the the little nephew when the when the office, the chief of police, come to the crib and. We just felt that that was like a real. Like, when the little dude was like, "No, nigga, yeah, get the fuck, get the fuck out of here." It did feel like a real. Fuck didn't, nigga. Yeah, that dude needs some. He needs some more. Yes. Uh, fuck you talking about, fuck nigga. Man, coming, coming at the period. cops. Um, it was real yeah. emotion. It felt it, real. No, yeah, it, 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 really it made well. me forget I was watching a movie for a second. I gave it an eight. Yeah. That's another reason I gave it there because it, it just it just yeah. brought the emotion out of you. That yeah. that made me feel Spike Lee though. I felt like Spike Lee was behind yeah. that part. I could see that. But you just really feel every word he said, and it's it's just super relatable. This is how we he's speaking for the audience. Like everything he's saying, 
That's how we feeling to the. We want to say this shit to these police officers when they're in our house. Right. This is what we would say to them if they. Right. In, it's in just. My it's house, like nigga. nah, no negotiating, no peacemaking. Like y'all, y'all fucked up. You can't bring my people back. Yeah, like nigga, I'm not trying to sit here and like, make it right. And the cops sitting there like they they brought the black chief in there. Of course, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Right. So yeah, what you said was on point. They they want to make us be peaceful when they do yeah. shit. Then they want to you right. know turn violent when shit happens to them and. They expect us to be peaceful when bad shit happens to us. So, it's a good movie, yeah. man. We got you guys all three. Uh, give it an eight, right? I'm, I'm, I'm giving it an eight, man. It's I'm giving it a seven. Good. So I'll, I'll say that I, I'm gonna have to be as the as the this non classic territory yeah, for you as the as the minority voice in here. I'm gonna have to make that a seven point nine. We can't give that an eight. Why can't you give I mean, it eight? Aver- if you take the average, it's about uh, seven point six. What, or would, what, what, what three eights and a seven? What would have made seven? it an eight for you, bro? Three eights and a seven, I think it's seven. I, I'm just, it's tough for me. I gotta be. Point seven five. I gotta be overwhelmingly compelled. Which this did. This was a compelling movie. Would him killing the officer would that have pushed it up a notch for you? It would have been different because I me. did. That did kind of set me back a little bit. It would have been different for me. I, I all my needs were met here, yeah. but it wasn't. Uh, I wasn't. It, it, I don't know. It, I just. My needs were met, but it didn't overwhelmingly amaze me. Um, on top of that, though, I do, on a side note, I feel like Nate Parker might be the new Denzel, maybe. We just got to see a little more range from him as a, a more emotional range, but I got the tears when I needed the tears. I got the aggression when I needed the aggression. I was a little let down by a uh, ghost character in there because I thought he was going to get to killing because he was on his deathbed, you know what I mean? But, yeah. but, uh, it wasn't perfect. I'll say that perfect. I don't. We haven't really seen it yet. You know what I mean. So, I'm not giving up over an eight unless. I mean, it's, what? I don't think there's ever gonna be a perfect type of one of these movies. It's an above average movie, and that's what I'm saying when I give it a seven. Yes, some flawless movies. I it. It has potential flaws. to be a classic. That's it has potential it to be a classic. With how movies are coming out now, though, on the yeah. streaming, it's gonna be tough now. Yeah. So, but we give it a 7.9 or 8. My math is, I'm not a mathematician. 7.75 is what it was. Something like that, 7.75. What else we got? We got One Night in Miami. (laughs) This one was dope. It was Um, dope. uh, Regina King's directorial debut. She's a fucking beast. I love Regina King. Uh, She's she's always had her hands in just a bunch of dope projects. Um, The voice of... Riley. Boondocks, you know what I'm saying? Um, she, she actually said some real shit recently on one of these award shows. She got up there, she won an award. She was like, going forward, I'm not doing shit unless it's 50% women involved or whatever I'm doing. Mm, she's so, not playing around. And I just thought that was real. She's, she's like, coming hard for the female director. I really like that she stood up like, I don't care what it is, 50% of women are involved with the projects that I'm working on. One way or another. So I rock with time. her. She did that Watchmen. She's in the Watchmen. Which I didn't I even kinda, check that out yet. Yeah, I, 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 I caught up a with bit it? of it. I didn't really. I was falling asleep because I would always turn it on at night at the end of my day. So <laughs> I, I was kind of confused. Is this like a science fiction? What is this show? It's like it's a, off of the DC Comics and okay. it's a pickup off of the Watchmen movie, which I think was a, actually a really dope superhero. I fuck with that. To me, that's one of the best superhero movies out never there. Watched it's that like movie. a. It's you. like Batman, but even darker. You know what I mean? DC. Like, yeah, you, you, have you watched The Watchmen? I haven't seen it. Oh, no. wow. It's a, it's a long one. Um, but it's intricate, well-written. It's dope. Y'all actually got to watch it. Uh, it's well shot. The music is... I mean, that's what I'm talking about when you get into tens. Like, music is well-placed. You know what I mean? This movie's not a 10. I'm gonna, I give that movie an 8, though, for what, sure. Which Watchmen? one? Watchmen. Wow, I got to check that, that that's a side. That's, an that's a side. That's a side. But you got to have the endurance to get through that. That might be, a, like, a two-part these days. You oh, know right. what I'm saying? How long is it? That's interesting. It's like a two-hour joint. So. Dang, um, but the cast in this one, we got Leslie Odom. He played in uh, Hamilton. Uh, they say Jim Brown's in the movie, but I didn't see him anywhere in the movie. They, they made a mistake. They might, yeah, yeah, I don't think he actually be. is in the movie. They so, just put his name. They, they, that's a just like a highlight of him somewhere in there. I don't know. Leslie Odom plays Sam Cooke. Um, Kingsley Ben Adir plays Malcolm X. Which I, at first, his performance wasn't sitting perfect with me, but then I actually got comfortable with it as the movie went on. I think he's, he definitely filled it out as the movie was getting a little more uh, 
intense. It wasn't very like intense, but like emotionally intense. Um, Aldis Hodge plays Jim Brown and uh, Eli. Uh, what does that say? Gore. Gore. Uh, plays young a young Cassius Clay, not Muhammad Ali. Um, and the movie takes place in Miami. Malcolm X is uh, meeting up with you know he, this. It's taking place when he's getting ready to leave the Nation of Islam because. Yeah. You know, he found out some things he didn't like, and he's more with the pureness of the of Islam, mm -hmm. um, trying to trying to get Cassius to convert. He's already been talking to converting him into the nation of Islam, but trying to actually pull him to be one of his followers. Um, and then Jim Brown's there for the ride. Sam Cook's there for the ride. They're all powerful people of that time. Looked the, at probably as probably most powerful people. One they're of the most polarizing figures at that time. They're the black heroes of, the, of that time. Yeah. Um, Avengers. The original Avengers. The original <laughs> black Avengers. There you go. Um, and so, yeah, there was a lot of things that I, I liked about the movie. I felt the acting was strong. Um, it's fictional, but it felt like a real story to I me. Wanted to, I want to know which part was based on true events. I think it was I just the fact that all four of them were there at a hotel. I don't think anything else was really... Right, and it, and I, we Jim Brown's the only one that we could actually get at for this information, so it'd be it'd be nice if we could find some interviews uh, to get some clarity on on any of this if any of this took place. But I do know that they all were somewhat associated. Mm. I just don't know if this particular story happened, so I have to dig into that. But it was believable for sure. It, I wanted to believe that it actually really happened. Um, and they all played their roles. Uh, I mean, get into it. Where does it take place, Tor? What do we... I think the movie was really more so... I don't think none of this stuff was true at all. I just think they was really just trying to show you um, these four individuals and what their Going position... Through. Yeah. Based on everything you know about all of them. Oh, yeah, their position their on, position like, on they, what... On, the, on black... Exactly. On civil rights and, exactly. like... Being a black person in America and the struggle exactly. and with and I, success, being yeah. successful in the midst of that, being a hero. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I took from Like They just wanted to show you, based on everything that you already know about all of them, what would it be like if they was in this room having these conversations? What would they argue about? What would they be right. going back and forth about? What would Malcolm say? What would Sam Cooke say? How would they respond? Like So I think it was just kind of on that tip. And... Uh, you know, like they, like they did a play, like maybe 2014 it was. Okay, yeah, that's where it's, yeah. that's where it all started. At. But I think I don't even think it was about like having it be true. I think it was just about like I think that was the idea. The, of it all. the story is so dope that it almost don't matter if it's true or yeah, not. Yeah, it, do, it doesn't really matter because it, yeah. it, it's legit and it and I think they're real Sounds perspectives. Believable. And I and I yeah. believe that they're all of their perspectives. That that was yeah. all of their. Malcolm yeah. is clearly like the natural leader out of all of them he's ar he's in the position of the black fight in america he's already the leader of that and he's trying to recruit these people to to be more uh on the forefront of that specific fight and they already kind of are but they're doing it their own different ways yeah. so i think that's dope um uh you know seeing them interact with each other like obviously malcolm's the leader but jim brown is like the He's, a, he's, he's the, the he's, unspoken leader. He's the unspoken leader of the group, the the one that settles everybody down, <laughs> and you know, one that can check everybody in the crew. Sam Cooks the flamboyant. Sam Cooks kind the of the nigga. He's the like, flamboyant he's, one. I like, don't even know he was the flamboyant. Not that he's flamboyant, but like he's the, he's got the he's got the char the charisma to match Malcolm because of his performing and artistry. It's definitely much different than Malcolm's. Um, it's not as technical and as uh what's the word i'm looking for I, i'm not even gonna try to dig for that he word he had a lot of going back and forth with malcolm and he they was, had back and forth because they, they were on the same level of they, it's yeah. it, two different sides to the same coin you know right malcolm x just like podcasters and rappers you know what i mean like yeah. it was the same thing but their personalities were very different exactly. um i liked what jim brown said to uh malcolm x asking him why is he fighting so hard you know is it because he's light-skinned you know light skin have it tougher that's a real thing you know what i mean when you when you mix and you grow up you get it from the black people and you get it from the white people 
Um, and it does force, he's like, why are you light-skinned niggas so militant? You know? <laughs> and it, do, it does force that. I mean, you got yeah. Huey, you got, you got Huey Newton, you got Malcolm from, X, you got... Good Times. It's a ton of them if you look <laughs> through it. Good Times. That's a good point. That's real. The boy, right? And Michael. So those are good questions. <laughs> Sam Cook, you know, Malcolm, I think it's, it's kind of foreshadows today how I feel about music. Not as strongly, but Malcolm wanted... Sam Cooke to be more vocal in the fight with his music because he was aware of the power he had yeah. as an artist to influence. And that's what artists don't really understand and they take for granted today that they really are influencing people, kids especially. And if you're not coming legit and, and, and trying to be uh, positive... If you don't have a mind of your own, you can get sucked into the Yeah. Shit. I mean, more often than not... The, the majority of people are going to be influenced and persuaded by th this music. Yeah. And I can get into deep conversations about that. But if you're not being positive with your music, which back then it was not nearly as bad as it is now, I mean, you are wasting your, your, your voice, your power, basically. And that's how Malcolm Fett felt. I feel that way now about a majority of rap. Yeah. And it's definitely a, a, a worse situation. But I felt like Regina or whoever wrote that was speaking to the artist today, yeah. you know. And well, I guess, I mean, at that time, I don't even think it was really a, a issue of whether it's positive or not. It's just like, are you speaking on these issues we need you to speak about? Right. What, what we're going through. We're so, all going through it. You're exactly, going through it. You yeah. know what I mean? So, so I think that's really what Sam was on. getting a little defensive, but... Uh, he had some good points. Some he, he had some good points. Paving the way for yeah. other... Other artists. other artists. That's that, that's a discussion too. You know, the whole yeah. Jay Z, mm -hmm. Nas thing. Like Nas is obviously the the spoken spiritual, like moral moral based like voice that had a large presence. Jay Z was obviously capitalist business, which at the time when it was in the the the, the thick of it, you appreciated Nas's stance morally more. But then when you look at Jay Z, it's like hold up, he's actually blazing the trail for black people to develop the business mind state, you know? And, it, and it's all just about how you look at it. There's right. pros and cons to everything. So he did bring that topic up too, which I thought was dope. Um, Jim Brown, I don't know what he, he was just kind of like, oh, I'm Jim Brown. Didn't have very <laughs> many lines. Not a ton of lines, but he did. He, his he, presence definitely felt though. And his presence was felt in that time too. Like he yeah. definitely, he quit the league because he felt like, you know what I'm saying? There was trying to treat him a certain way and he wanted to have freedom um and you know, he, I really he was feel on like pro he, black shit for real he was actually underserved in this movie because he if, was if you watch like his interviews and you see you know his energy in these interviews it i wanted to see more of that in this movie right and i know it wasn't all about that, especially young jim brown i think this movie served to give his actual life context you know right, going right, through right. these discussions with malcolm yeah. and obviously malcolm ends up dying after the fact so Maybe that's what it's. That's what took him over the edge, you know, because it shows him like just letting a white dude call him a nigger at the end of the move, at the beginning of the movie. You know, no, I don't crazy. let niggas in my house. Oh yeah. But he was trying to be super like, because he was a professional. He was trying to be like, oh, I'm nice to you. I'm good to you. You know, type of shit. So, a lot of layers. Loved it. Um, to wasn't be honest too long. with you, I had a problem. I watched this movie again too, so I got a little bit of more different take than I originally had and I didn't really care for these actors man you didn't like the actors I like Sam Cooke I like this, Sam this Cooke's was the actor. best one to me but these other guys I don't really feel they did a great job man mm. I'm just talking about all of them Malcolm mm. Jim Brown all of the characters Muhammad Ali was overdone it just wasn't a great, great performance. I Sam felt like Cook I, they, really I believed he was Muhammad Ali was the say. Muhammad Ali was he, I think Muhammad Ali was the the weakest one. The least yeah. portrayed. Not the weakest, but the... The least correctly portrayed. Yeah. He was just over I mean, they just... They, they wanted him to be painted as this kid. You know? Yeah. He was a kid. Yeah, he was a kid. And he like did... 23 something. Like no, 21. but jumping on the bed and uh, shit. He was a grown man. I don't want to do he's, the kid. He's 21. But, uh, in the movie? Yeah. Was Mal He's supposed to be 21? Yeah. Yeah, he was, he was, okay. he was young. Um, fine. But he's a grown man. <laughs> Um, Malcolm X, I got adjusted to. I didn't. I wasn't feeling him at I first. I fuck with Malcolm I X. It, it, it changed it when I watched it the second time. I was really kind of looking at it differently through a different set of lens. And I was just, I, I came out with, I don't like none of these niggas. Was Malcolm X? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like what they did. I was just like, man, 
if I had better performances, I would. I was I'm okay with that. Away. They didn't blow me away, but they didn't. I wasn't like, I wasn't overly like disappointed in it. So it was but like we talk about yeah. scoring movies. I know, now. I know. This is I huge. Got I got you. I so got this you. is a problem for me. It's okay, okay. I got you. Big time. I think it ended. It ended well. We obviously know the stories of these people. I think it gave contents context to Sam Cooke's A Change Gonna Come. It did. The song, I like that. Which, yeah. thinking about that now, just talking earlier about how music doesn't really last as long. This this song came out in the 60s. Yeah. Mm. And it's still hitting harder and getting plays more than a lot of these songs today. But yeah. the, a cool thing that I found out about this movie is Leslie Odom is actually singing that song in the movie. Oh, I didn't know that. At the end of the movie, he's actually oh, singing t- it. I, I could tell. I thought he was. Really? I, I had yeah. to, like... Focus on that, but you could tell he was singing. I, I I went and listened to the song after the movie just because yeah. it got me in that mode, and I and I seen on the soundtrack for One Night in Miami his name is credited as the artist for the song, so he's really singing it. Um, mm-hmm. and I thought it was dope that they played it at the end of the movie. We talked about it before, yeah. um, but in the Malcolm X movie that Denzel played right before he gets killed, they play that song, and I I recognize that right away, um, and I just thought that was a dope little call out. So. Dope movie for me overall. Um, what are they giving it for ratings? I think they're getting rave reviews. Rot, rotten Tomatoes. They gave it a 98%. Yeah, so they're, crazy, they're fucking crazy. with it now. Crazy, it's all over Amazon. So I think, uh, I don't know what's different about this than American Skin. It's obviously different energies on the, uh, yeah. on, on the fight American of black skin's power. American Skin is definitely more raw and uncut and it's intense. straight to your face Violent. with the shit. Yeah, it's I'm more intense. I'm surprised that these reviews is looking like this. I'm I don't I don't like how there's a discrepancy because I feel like they're yeah. on the same level. It's just different. Uh, it's a different emotional state. It's, uh, slightly different. It's in the same lane, but slightly different uh, pockets. Obviously, yeah. one's more current. This one feels a little more uh, retro as far as civil rights. So it kind of doesn't feel as close to us, even though it's a legitimate issue that has a lot to do with the American Skin movie. But I feel like there's no reason why there should be that huge of a, a, a discrepancy or yeah, contrast in the ratings. Movies, yeah. So it's get, it? it's got rave one? reviews. Ninety eight percent. What was the tomatoes. last? One? What was American Skin? Twenty seven. Twenty seven percent. It's crazy. So you know, Rotten Tomatoes is all over the board. I think they're letting like actual people maybe go on their site and vote. We'll have to dig into that. Yeah, they do, but I don't know what that score is. The one that's up there. If you, of, if you go to Rotten Tomatoes' one se- website, they usually give separate ratings. Right, they give a critics so one and a, yeah. It's what they advertise. You got to be careful. All this right. shit's propaganda, man. 7.3 out of 10 on IMDb. So, But I respect these reviews. I'm not going to give it... I give it a 7. Uh, fucked up on reviews will make you... If we add in an element to this one night it, in Miami yeah. where they're holding an uh, officer hostage, it might change the ratings. <laughs> White officer, right? They not they not. Yeah, they they not fucking right. with this. From a ninety eight to uh, forty seven. American <laughs> skin is definitely more sensitive. It's more sensitive yeah. topic. So I think it. People just can't. That's crazy, man. America is crazy. Um, yes. uh, seven, uh, six and a half, seven for me. Right, let me. I'm just gonna say six and a half because I think American skin was better. Mm. I got a five, man. Mm. Smooth five. I mm. can't give any higher than that. Uh, acting for me, even was though so, you watched it again, I watched it again just so I can see because I, I kind of wasn't feeling it the first time. So I said, I let me check it out it again. And it made it worse. I feel you. I got a five on this one. Uh, you ain't fuck that, with the that, Malcolm X acting. His accent no. was even decent. I'm talking too. about the acting. Like I didn't like that. That's the biggest problem for me. I have to give it a five, mainly because of the acting job. Yeah, Malcolm's a tough one. You can't play around with Malcolm. I like Malcolm. He's beloved. Yeah. So I because like to me, it it gave off a little bit that he. When you think of Malcolm, you don't think of no bitch nigga at all. So <laughs> in this movie, I felt like it he did. He did have some soft. There were some moments too. that was like, "This is Malcolm would never say no shit like that. He would never be no hoe ever." So I, that bothered me. I, they, they didn't well, do that. What you remember? He, Malcolm was a street nigga before all that shit. And he brings oh, it up in the movie. He's like, "I got more reps than all of y'all." <laughs> but then I didn't even believe him saying those lines. Like, like, I don't ten years ago, <laughs> Matt, what you give it? Uh, I'm going. I, I went. I went with a seven. 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 I'm not putting so it. We got above a six America's and a half. Game. Five. What's the math? Who's good at math in here, bro? I, I, it's embarrassing. Smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> Smartphone. <laughs> I mean, look. Six and a half. You said right. You got it at six and a half. So yeah. it's at a, it's. We got it at six point four out of ten. So, uh, that's what we got for that. I think that's all we got for movies. 
Um, what else? Have y'all watched anything new lately? Or what's coming up, actually? We got Denzel's movie, uh, The Little Things. That looks super interesting. I'm, I'm going to see that in the theaters. I'm going to go to the theaters. Oh, and yeah, see you going to pull up to the show? That's Friday. Yeah. They open, right? It's open now. So I'm going to the theaters okay. for that one. Yeah, I'm probably going to roll with you then. Okay. So. Uh, okay, I guess I two like how you going to a movie. invited cool. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> two, 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 two niggas at a movie. Yeah, but no, let's not act like we haven't done it before. Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, um, we what all else are invited. Is, so. What else is dropping? Uh yeah. <laughs> Netflix <laughs> Netflix is dropping a movie every week for the whole year. Yeah, I don't think this is good news, by the way. I'm not I actually want to show you good. some of these trailers. Uh, uh, we can't have a movie coming out every week and have it be quality. How many I'm poor quality looking, movies is coming uh, out every week? I don't know. Some of them look. Netflix is actually on a mission, bro. Um, nah, we'll know. just kind of let this play. I'm not going to let the audio play. I'm that, uh, that Kong versus Godzilla. I am not, bro. See, my dad was a, a big King Kong. You know, that was a different generation. I don't know. Oh, I don't they just showed the trailer. King Kong. I know and I knew Mortal Kombat. I watched so much shit of that as a kid, bro. I can't I even know. get into it. Uh, Mortal Kombat looks decent. I didn't even see that trailer. I got to check that out. But it was a screenshot. So you got The Rock. Oh, this is the, on another one. This is the so commercial cool. about all the movies coming out in 2021 Netflix. So Batista, <laughs> Batista got a movie coming out. Uh, I don't know what Regina King yeah. Regina King's working on something with your boy That's not Nate Parker is it? No I wasn't, nah, I wasn't Nate Parker Who the fuck was that? He looks super familiar uh, Damn. She's not I don't like her She's not yeah. funny Holly Berry got a movie Oh yeah I've been waiting for that This movie actually Holly Berry bruised that's coming what to Netflix. What is that about? About her beating MMA? She's a, it's a following her MMA career. She's got Valentina Shevchenko in it, which is my favorite, one of my favorite overall fighters in the UFC. I didn't even hear about this. Are they doing another one of these movies? She's been doing, him and that, her been doing all of these So is this all the Netflix? Teenage, this is just the Netflix stuff. Yeah, they've been doing all these teenage little... They, just, they must have been working on this for a while then. Horror. They got some actors, all the actors, all the big time actors. Netflix ain't playing right now. Shit, they got enough money. So, right, yeah. <laughs> well, it got to the point where they have to start doing this. Girl, shit old girl, old yeah. girl. Aquaman got a movie coming out. Batista got a movie. Not Aquaman. I'm but actually not interested in Batista at all. Jason Momoa. Batista's decent. He's coming. He's trying to. He's trying to put it together. Uh, I don't know. They got their movie. The Rock, uh, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds, and Wonder Woman chick. I forget her I'm name. Only interested in Deadpool from him. Yeah. So. I don't even like that shit. They got... Uh, Dang, that, that I don't poor, like man. him playing that part. Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence with Kid Cudi movie coming out. I'm watching. Yeah, I saw that teaser trailer. I don't know how I feel about it, but, you know. I'm watching anything Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm checking them out. Yeah, sure. Leonardo's a beast. Um, I didn't, did you see the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? I didn't watch that. That was fun. I like. That I didn't movie. check it out. Yet. It was. It was. It. It's tough because it's like. Yeah, it's, I've seen that. It's, it's kind of like all over the place, and it's just like yeah. a little story, and they they make this one small yeah. story like very big. Was it good? Um, I like the environment. I like where it kind of takes you. It's, yeah, it's a dope movie. Is it his best? No, but you I. Know, I Caprio appreciate has some ten movies. I appreciate it. He, Wolf his Wall performances Street. are tens. I don't know if the movies Wolf are Wall ten. Street was. That's not a 10 close. movie That's a it's 10 close. performance uh, Inception That's a close Inception 10. is a good movie This Boy's Life yeah. I mean you I don't say Titanic too I, I fuck with Titanic Have y'all <laughs> And we can discuss On a different episode Our top actors We can get in That'll be right. fun What have What else have y'all Been watching I just been Rewatching the old shit Yeah y'all I'm watching, watching Your Honor Right now Is that a show Showtime uh, I was Ryan watching that Last night, night actually Check that one out It's decent is it? Different little storyline. Um, it's a show. It's a show. Yeah, I think I think they got seven episodes. He's right a now. beast, Brian Cranston. Yeah, he's he's a legend. He's been out for a minute. I'm gonna have to check it. HBO. I don't That's, got the HBO. Uh, Showtime, right? Yeah. yeah. It's like Showtime. Mm. But yeah, Your okay. Honor. So you should check that one out. What you been watching, Matt? There's that Malcolm and Marie. That's coming in Netflix too. Kid Cudi, executive produce. With Denzel's little son. Denzel's son. Yep. Is he gonna be the next we big one? This movie. No, I think Nate Parker's the next well, big. Zendaya is so fine. Well, it was actually gonna be. It was gonna be Chad. Fucking boy body. Chad, it was. He was actually, gonna yeah. be that nigga. To come what? up. What? Take she has a little boy uh, body, man. <laughs> sorry. Let's not be body <laughs> shaming up in here, I'm bro. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Matt, who, what you watching? I I haven't really watched anything new, honestly. I rewatch old stuff I'm watching them kids movies I'm rewatching Sopranos <laughs> how many times you yeah. watch Soul already 
Nah, they haven't. They haven't really been. Oh, on they they my, 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 I, watched, I started watching, watching Soul, and then I just turned it off for some reason. I didn't like Jamie's voice with that person. I, I guess I, for some, it just didn't match up. I don't no. know if I needed it. Are we looking forward to his Mike Tyson thing? He's not a great, great actor to me. What does that come? I from? like him. I don't like know. He, he has the ability to be he great. Have, he's he has the ability to perform great. Yeah, he's playing Mike Tyson. I think he did. He's that good at doing dramatic. I think he did a good job in Ray, man. He did do a good. No, no, yeah, Ray and that's just mercy. He was hard. Okay, because so what? We're gonna have to. Next episode, we'll dissect top actors because we're this. That's gonna get spicy. It is. Um, <laughs> I can't wait for that shit. I just, <laughs> I just checked out uh, the tax collector with uh, the tax collector. Shia LaBeouf. It's like a, a, a Mexican. I heard that was trash. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I never saw it. I, I heard it was LaBeouf. trash too, but I peeped it on there and I just watched it the other day. It's actually dope. It's mm. actually dope. They got terrible reviews. Mm. I, I didn't mind Shia LaBeouf's acting. He's playing a Mexican gangster. The can does he pull it off? His accents, whatever. It's kind of there. It's not there. It's there. That's you know tough. what I mean? I'm I think really Shia LaBeouf's a good actor. But it was a dope movie. So? I think he, he has is a good ability actor. to be no, he's a, a good actor. great actor. He's a good actor, for sure. Transformers and shit he was tight? Um, I mean, okay. that's just depends, something different. That's, that's, a, a that's a different voice. pocket. He don't even like to touch shit like that no more. He, <laughs> you know I mean? He's trying to do... He's trying to, he's trying to do a grown Give man thing. Oh, Holes back in the day. Yeah, he did. Holes, holes was the joint. I'm, I'm cool. Yeah, hey, I fuck with Holes. Uh, yeah, we know you fuck with right? Holes. That one was all right. <laughs> huh? Eagle Eye. I think he was in that, right? Eli? That one was all right. Eagle Eye. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was like him trying to... They was trying to make him like... He was doping our robot. Action hero. I what was the thriller movie he was in? Where he was playing the Nick, the neighbor, and then watching the neighbor. Oh, that was a decent movie. That, that was okay. He was he was dope in I Robot. Again, another actor conversation. <laughs> um, but I saw that, and then I think I saw Oh Midsummer. Y'all seen that? No, it's like a horror movie. It's like a folk horror movie. It's the same person that made Hereditary. Y'all see that one? Didn't like it. You saw it? That Garbage. Hereditary was too much <laughs> crazy shit. Going it was on. super evil, bro. Like it just at the end of the Did movie, you I was get like, "What's going on?" I was like, at the end, I was just like, "This is some evil it's, shit." It's, it's, it's <laughs> evil. That bro. was a rough end. I almost felt like, "Damn, what did I just participate in watching?" <laughs> yeah, I couldn't you even. Know? I was gonna check it out again, but I'm like, "Ah, this this is all over the place. It's a crazy story." I actually, have to watch that. But I watched yeah. Midsummer, so it's from the same person. I don't know if you have to break it down, but it's folk horror. It's also some evil shit, some some like white people evil, like Dutch horror. It's not very like jump scary, you know. But it's like, uh, what are we? We're in, we're looking at rituals here. We're looking at, you know, the lone black person gets killed. A couple light skinned people get killed. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's actually, I read some reviews and they're like, look at it more as a fairy tale than a horror story. And when you try to spin it like that, just look, thinking of the story, it's like, oh, okay, somebody's twisted, but it makes sense. Mm, so don't watch it as a horror, watch it as a fairy tale more so? If you watch it a second time, but it's it's a long movie, so I don't. I'm definitely not rewatching it. I got it. I you got. You say long? You mean two hours plus or what? Eh, I can't remember. It's long enough though. A lot of horror shit's not worth rewatching anymore. It's, it's not very scary. I'm not a fan of horror movies. So Everything's predictable. You get scared? No, I don't. Like that's the biggest problem. Like it, like that's what they're supposed to do, but it's just so not. Last realistic. thing I was scared of was fucking Jason. I like the, the realistic ones. I know though, right? Some of the ones. I can. I can. Mess with the realistic ones more. The I mean, they're still not. Yeah, the, to me, those aren't horror films. Like they're just. I guess. Like Chucky's thriller. Yeah, a lot of this shit ain't really very scary I don't know anymore. If I, put that in I mean, it's not horror. I mean, he's I not. He's not I scary. It. It's not thriller. It's, it's not it's, scary. It's it is strange. like yeah. I don't know. It's <laughs> tough to categorize them. They, I'm waiting for something really, really scary, like some new wave shit, like when Paranormal Activity first came out. Like that was something a little different than what we were used to getting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, just the gory, like, you know. You watch, go watch and watch some of these old scary movies like Candyman. It's like, damn, how was this scary when we were kids? You know, but the shit was scary. They got a new one. They redoing that one, you see. Yeah, that, right? I'm interested in that. That's supposed to the be. The Conjuring is tight, too, though. You Conjuring know. is a good story, a good movie. Yeah, those Par- good. The, par- the spiritual paranormality yeah. is pretty dope, so. Yeah. But, yeah, man, that's we kind of broke down everything. Um you know, I don't really got nothing else to say. I think we said everything. Those are the movies. Watch them. American Skin, uh, One Night in Miami, uh, Fatal. You got our reviews. You got our opinions on them. Um, this is what we're going to be doing. You know what I mean? We're getting super, super critical with the critique, super detailed, and uh, we also talking our shit. You know what I'm saying? So just make oh, sure wait. you tuning in and... Uh, 
and you know the vibe's gonna stay the same and either you ride with it or you don't we're gonna be here either way baby so other than that with it. i'm shinobi gains these are these guys are pros and uh i'm shinobi gains <laughs>